What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Where a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts. We got a guest today. We got a guest today. Hey. Now I you got the little shimmy though. Okay. Shimmy. I want to y'all. Wait, you cutting up today? I can already tell this is about to be a crazy <laughs> ass episode, <laughs> bro. Like with these crazy ass men, and this has been a long time coming too. Say what? Swear? Did I lie? No. Before we get into that, introduce yourself and you know oh. do all the little rundown stuff. Oh, that's ghetto. So? I come on your show after being okay, co- y'all. No, introducing <laughs> the one and the only, the trap karaoke king, <laughs> the main event from God's next door. Yeah, she's not really lying. him. She's Stop not playing. Also go. known as the king of New York, mm-hmm. <laughs> Mouse <laughs> Jones. Not really. That I was a like phenomenal it. intro. I, like I thought I did a good job. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I won't be. That was beautiful. It, I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm here. Have See, this is this is that, why we don't get along. There was a lot of enthusiasm. It but this is why intro. me and Mouse don't get along. That's why? Why? Yeah, yeah. let's get oh, into it. Okay. Well, hey, that's what I said. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Thank y'all for having me. Of I appreciate course, it. Mouse, of course. We love you, Dad. I love y'all. You know that. Y'all my dogs. I, I fight for y'all, so I'm glad. You fight for us? That's a fact. What have you ever fought for me? He said he would. Dre already know what type of time it was about to I be. I don't on. want the now. Nah, yeah, me and Mouse was about to beat some people up for me. <laughs> what? We do not play. I don't play about Dre. Don't don't play with her. Not when I'm around. What happened? We was in them Dallas trenches. <laughs> <laughs> It's fucking, <laughs> fucking with Chad. Fucking, fucking with, with Chad. Chad. It, was, it was real Had us in the in trenches. There. It was real oppy in there. And I got to tell Chad about his yellow ass self. Cause, mm-hmm. God, it was somebody I'm glad who, you said he yellow. Cause thank he you. Because he, he swear he You want to be me. That's what it is. You know, us oh. dark skin niggas really set the tone. All right. There's a no. lot of delusional people in this room. One of them <sighs> sitting next to you as well. Oh, child. Yeah. <laughs> It's, you are mad at me because I'm a chocolate goddess, and that's why you're you what? are not a chocolate goddess. <laughs> you're not. I am. Okay. I'm not. You know what? We y'all are doing so it. well that I don't want y'all to be on the blog vid called colorist. So let's just move. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to happen. They're gonna get y'all. So let's, let's just keep it moving. <laughs> let's just keep it moving. I don't give a damn. This nigga gonna y'all. tank the shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a chocolate goddess. All right. <laughs> I am. All right. I, you know what? I will say this though. I think it is silly. You know that black people do that because we yeah. all niggas. We all all black. You know what I'm saying? But I think. Yeah, but some of us are darker than others. Which I mean, but that's okay. But I I deserve to be celebrated for it. Okay. But I think it's crazy how we do categorize. Like, <laughs> oh no, you're brown skin, you're dark skin, you're light skin. Um, I think it's stupid, but I think it's necessary at the same time because everybody needs to be seen. What? It's, everybody needs to be seen. That okay. so the way I mean, in darker yeah. skin, people do that to each other too. Because remember, Lauren did that to me when she came on the show. What she say? Again? Remember, she kept saying she was like, "You're not dark skin. You're you don't the understand the, of the struggle." Line. Yeah, she said you're she at the beginning of the line. line. Yeah, like the dark skin girls, like Dre is at the beginning of the line. And she like, said, "I don't count." Darker. You are yeah. at the beginning. Of the line. But I mean, if there's a line the... to get into dark skin, you're at the beginning. <laughs> you might have to call somebody, come get you. You're pretty I'm deep. Weak. She can't get in. But like, why does it matter? She on the front of the so weird though that <laughs> us as wet people are like that. It's not, he it's, said I might have to call somebody. Dre, Dre, I can see Dre on the dark line like this. Girl, they not let me. I don't even be doing it. <laughs> then I'm gonna have to try to sneak in y'all line. Yeah, who's y'all? I'm line? already in. Y'all line. I'm already in. I'm, I'm inside. I'm hosting. I'm dark skin. And I'm like this. <laughs> yeah, you are not in the party, child. Mm-mm. Mouse, are we not even about to do this. But right I now? think it's important, right? I think I think it's important to categorize each other. Not to categorize. <laughs> I, I I hate that term. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so that term stinks. But um, I think it's important to. I think it's important to place emphasis on everyone's individuality, mm. right? Black people are not a monolith, so that's even down to our skin tone, right? Right. So if there are brown people, they should be celebrated. Chocolate people should be celebrated. Mm-hmm. Um, piss color people should be. I don't know. I don't know. Or we got yellow. piss color people. They, this yeah. ain't our people. No, no, they're all, they're some dirt. There's some like dirty yellow people. They're like dirty, dirty. I've heard it been red. dirty light skin. Is, no, red is red. red, red and is yellow red. are yeah. different. But okay, but when you put it like that, that makes sense. Like to be like celebrated. But I'm just but talking I think people about do like, it the other yeah, way. Yeah, the other way. Like yeah. you, and for so long. And then it's you been, said yeah. monolith. I already kind of tell what this episode gonna be. All right, a woke king. Period. Big words. Big words. Big mouth. Not the little 
Okay, before we get into these topics, let me ask you this. Where does somebody the name need mouth to have come from? Um, Webster's Dictionary? Because I don't that. know nothing. Because I already can tell you about to use big words, and I don't know what none of that I'm shit means. I'm not mean. using no more big words. Thank you. Uh, I didn't know monolith was big, bro. I didn't either. It was the glasses. It's the glasses. I got to take the glasses off. All right. ABC. I'm back to nigga. Yes, thank you. Fuck these bitches. Now, now. At least you. At least you gonna give me one smile today. One smile based off the thing I said. One. Oh my God. Shout out to Elise. Hey, Everybody Elise. give it up for Elise. We Elise don't understand. Elise. This is hard. I'm performing to a crowd of one. We and said, you're giving me nothing. <laughs> we said that they about to start asking Elise for pictures at the shows. Oh, Elise, they, Elise got a hive? I mean, uh, we talk hive about her on It's Coming. Because yeah. we talk about Elise her on the show. Hive, I can believe coming. it because... Uh, we got a on guys next door. Not Cam. the e-hive. Yeah, mm, e-hive is fire. Cute. I like it. I, I, and I won't even ask for a percentage. Just smile when I make I'm a weak. joke. Just ask. Just ask. Just <laughs> he just wants you to laugh. Placate. Thank you. No, but it, it, that, that's just real. I think it, when it comes to podcasts, and people love to hear about who's in the room. Mm -hmm. Especially if you if the show is already entertaining, mm -hmm. then they want to know who's in the room. Who so like, is there? like we used to do uh we used to Che, the, the, the girl used to help us out, Che. Mm -hmm. Che Hive. And they used to love hearing her oh, come on the mic. Oh, no, never mind. That's not who I'm thinking about. What are you thinking about? No, I thought it was somebody else. Oh, but yeah, Che. But now we got Cam, our engineer, and mm -hmm. he's fucking 19, 20 years old. But like, they'll just be like, what are y'all talking to Cam about? Right. We want to know. Bring mm -hmm. Cam on the show. Not happening. I am not. They used to do that with us too when we used to have uh, an engineer at our old studio. They'd be like, yeah, bring him on the show. They no. used to always say, yes. bring him on the show. Moran. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Moran. Shout out to Moran. I, I'm be like, we're going to bring Cam on the show and y'all going to hear how quiet he is. Mm -hmm. And y'all going to be like, he's taking up space. But see, we used to let him talk though. Like, we yeah, would give would him talk. a mic. He had a mic. Yeah, no, so no. he kind of was like a, you know, Cam is 19 years old. I'm a not third trusting member. A I'm not bit. trusting no 19 year old with a, with a with microphone a mic. on our platform. I'm weak. We, it, 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 we you don't know. He might have something profound to say. He don't have nothing profound to say. When there are How do no you know that? Because I when, talked to him when there are no microphones. Are no microphones. <laughs> <laughs> he don't have nothing profound to say. Okay, wait. Before we get into it, I have yeah. to ask you this. Because I've, I've known you for a long time, mm -hmm. and I've never asked you this. Uh-oh. Where does the name Mouse come from? First of all, that's a very... that that The question you just asked me, the build-up was not there. Uh, right. I'm sorry. I thought we were going to get something else. I was just, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I was like, like, oh, it's getting that? deep. All right. No, but, no, no. but I've never asked you that. So Mouse comes from... So growing up... um. I had I had like a little head and big ass ears, and so when I was born, the doc, um the doctor, the nurse, and my mom they all called me Mighty Mouse. So that like Mighty Mouse, nobody was gonna keep saying that shit. And then my mom started calling me my government name by like probably I was three four months whatever. Mm. But my cousins, I I grew up in the house with my cousins. So my older cousin, he like five six years older than me, he would always call me Mousy, M O U S Y. Oh. So I'm hanging out with all his friends. Or his friends have little brothers and sisters my age, mm -hmm. so Mousy just stuck. That was in, that was my that was my nickname throughout the neighborhood. When I started doing comedy, I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm nobody's about to introduce Mousy Jones. Mousy. So you like, said I drop I the Y. Yeah, I just dropped the Y. And it was just Mousy Jones. So you went from Mousy to Mouse, nigga. I like it. I thought you was gonna say some shit like because you were sneaky because I, I could see that too. I thought I it mean was it, it all it, it probably all played into it. Yeah. Mm, sneaky. I don't yeah. know if I'm sneaky. I used to rob niggas, but like it wasn't. I sneaky. feel like you gotta have a certain element of sneaking up on a nigga to rob. Him. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, I thought I was going for the more of the snitch route. I thought I was like, who did Come you on, snitch on? Come on, can we cut that part of the episode? I'm right. just saying. I'm a real nigga in these streets. I didn't you, know. Boy? <laughs> I had to ask. All right. Really? Yeah, you thought that's what I was gonna say though. I don't know. Even if that was, even the case, if that yeah. was the case, yeah, I, don't I used to snitch on yeah, niggas, so you know they stuck. call me. Mouse. I mean, I ain't gonna lie though. Snitching is different nowadays. Niggas is snitching and walking around. They good, but I don't think they it's bragging different. on it. No, they're not yes, bragging they about it. But in, niggas in really York, in New York, they are. Like black I'm, in people? Houston, they are. And certain niggas, certain niggas in this. I don't even like talking about, but there's certain niggas who who snitch, and you know who snitch. And they'll and tell they, you they snitch. Yeah, for I'm, real. It's different. I'm talking about nowadays. actual snitching. I'm not talking about a civilian who told. Like a civilian who told did his job. That's yeah. what he's supposed to do. He's a taxpaying right. customer. If you do something to him, not you deserve customer. to go to jail. He is he a taxpaying citizen. If you do something to a nigga not in the hood or is not playing by the rules, you deserve whatever that, happens. Yeah. Lee, I don't. I I've never. I mean, I'm a civilian these days, but I've never. I don't Easy. play with. I don't play with civilians. But right. I've never played with civilians. I never robbed no I'm civilian. Weak. Never did. That's fucked up. They don't play by the same rules. Yeah. So then what happens? So when they go tell, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to go threaten their mother. I'm supposed to go threaten. That's what niggas do. To that's but that's dumb. You did something to a civilian. They they to pay taxes. They have the right to call the police and say this person did this to me. Lock them up. 
Am I a civilian? No. You don't pay taxes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Now, Dre, that, Dre, do you pay taxes? I'm playing it. I'm a I civilian. Did, I do now. Because if you didn't pay taxes, you just told me that's snitching. No, I do now. Oh. Snitch. Okay, so you're a sit. No, she a citizen. She I'm, pay a, taxes. I'm a civilian. It's giving mouth. I know a lot of. It was a. It was a period of time. You know, I was working in the clubs. And, you know. I'm um, a Once again, I'm a taxpaying citizen. Do me not too. have these people come bothering me because I'm be like, go to Atlanta and pick up Lex. <gasps> <laughs> Why you saying my name? <laughs> I told you, Dre is the more moral compass of the show, from what I've gathered. You know what? I'm a I'm a good no, let's woman. No, let pay taxes. She do. I pay my taxes, my ties. Okay, I'm lying. No, I was about to say ties. <laughs> what you lying for? Ooh, that what song he was not. just singing? Lex ain't even know the song. No, the presence of the Lord. The presence of the Lord. You didn't even know the song. Yes, I did sing it again. No, Why? you sing no, it. No, you sing it. Because we know it. We were singing it. God is good. All right. <laughs> okay. A heathen. A heathen. All right, man, let's get into these topics, man. Come on now, man. <laughs> okay, so for this first topic, we wanted to talk about the main reason why most men are single. Shit. <laughs> it's because the character yeah. of the woman that they desire is not in the body shape that they want. Oh, y'all preaching today, Doc. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it good. It was actually a tweet I've seen, but you know. Yeah, that's a good word. I Somebody think it preached. was a good topic. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I agree. So we want your thoughts. Oh, that's a thousand percent correct. I mean, it's one of the reasons. I, I think. I think if you ask me, it's gonna sound like I'm caping, but whatever. Um, I think the top reason why men are single are because their character is in question. Mm. That's the main. Re- that's probably the biggest reason that men are single. The niggas about to be it's, on. Yeah, it's not. By, it's not by choice. Like a lot of niggas, it's a. It's a small number of us that are single by choice. Mm. Most niggas are single mm. because you rent the game. You 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 know that term we use the jux is up. That's what it is. Like you've ran this game, you've played nice, or you you know you you kind of sk- skated by for so long, right, and right. You, you you got one woman like that, and then maybe two, and then three, mm-hmm. and now they see it. So we feel like women are a little smarter now too. So that's why kind of a lot of men are single. I don't too. think they're smart. I think they've always had the. They've always had. The, I don't think the the level of intellect amongst women has, you know, drastically changed. I think women have always been astronomically mm-hmm, smarter right. than men. I think the need for men have not proved themselves to be needed. Ooh. Mm. They haven't created a need. I think what you said, that's an interesting philosophy, though, because I feel like when you talk to a lot of niggas, they love to say that, you know, women, we're not single by choice. Mm-hmm. But because you know, like, men, I feel, most of the time, I, I, I men, like, that. do the choosing. Like, I know as a woman, I'm not mm-hmm. going to ask a man to be in a relationship right. with me. We're going to get in a relationship if you're ready to get so in a relationship women, because you have to ask me. So women choose when we have sex. A man chooses... When we are in a relationship. Right. Yeah. And I might put the, I might, you know, put the pressure on you a little yeah. bit if I'm ready and I feel like we need to take it to that next level. I might, you know, drop a little hints, but right. we're not going to get in a relationship and be exclusive yeah. unless you lay it down and let it be known that that's what it is. Like I said, I think there's a multitude of reasons. I think there's a, there's like a litany of reasons why men are single, right? Mm-hmm. I just think the one I said is probably at the at, at the forefront. Mm-hmm. I think right under that is something I spoke about on Guys Next Door a few weeks ago. Um, I think with all the success that black women are achieving, right? I only date black women, so that's what I'm talking about. Period. Okay. So, Let's so, give it up for them. So, um, Big mouths. <laughs> so I think with the level of success, um, unprecedented success that black women are entering, like you guys specifically, mm-hmm. right? Like you guys could have easily just been pretty girls. Right. But there's a business acumen that you guys have that mm-hmm. can't be fucked with, right? Right. Which is bringing y'all unprecedented levels of success. That's going to make it very hard for a man to date you. And that doesn't make it a good or bad thing. Mm-hmm. It makes it a thing, right? A factual thing. Because if you're not careful, and I'm talking about if the woman isn't careful, if you two aren't careful, you'll allow your vantage point to affect your perspective. Mm-hmm. So what does that mean? That means because you're now at an elevated level of success, now you're around different things, mm-hmm. and that could put you around a certain level of man mm-hmm. who may be able to meet monetary and maybe, maybe um, um, accent lifestyle-wise. Mm-hmm. Right, right. But he's not a good man. Exactly. Those good men, a lot of those good men just haven't 
either reach that success level or maybe never will because of socioeconomic issues and things of that nature. Right. Those niggas are probably still in the hood, mm -hmm. right? So when I spoke about it on God Next Door, a lot of women got, women got mad at me. But all I was saying was, don't allow your vantage point to change your perspective. Just because your money gave you a space to elevate doesn't change the type of nigga that was a good nigga when y'all both was on right. equal footing, mm -hmm. right? So he might be a UPS worker, mm -hmm. and he might be the fucking, I don't, no disrespect to any UPS workers, I don't know the chain of command, right. but like he might be the top dog at the UPS, mm -hmm. but you might, you you don't want to see a nigga in a brown suit. Yeah. You, you might, your money or your lifestyle in your head might, might but, cause you to be like, I don't want to see no nigga in no brown suit, I need a nigga to do this. But that nigga is still a good nigga, he can still provide for you, he can still take care of you, he he's still a good nigga, but your vantage point now says I'm up here. Right. I need somebody up here when every nigga up there ain't shit. But well, let me I ask you this, though, because of what he just said. How you feel about putting your nigga on? Because then I feel like if you meet a nigga like that mm -hmm. and then you doing what you doing, like I mean, you know, you like speed. Right, right. You could right. put your nigga on to where he don't gotta work at UPS no more. Um, Would you do that? I mean, I don't see the problem with it because I feel like when you're in a relationship, we're supposed to help elevate each other. I don't have any problem with that, but but you gotta get in a relationship with him first, like. Of course, I'm not putting everybody on. I work fucking hard to get here. So it's not my job to uh, just because I'm fucking you to do this and that for mm -hmm. you. But it's like if we're really. But also, we got to be very careful as men and women. We have to be very careful when it comes to like putting someone on. Cause that nigga after you, he might shit he might, on you. No, 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 that could happen. Does that too. be happening too? <laughs> that could happen too. But I'm saying, uh, in a more positive sense, I'm I'm also not like yes. Let me just say now, I'm I'm hard on niggas, yes, because niggas ain't shit. But I'm also not in the business of just like shitting on niggas and like yeah, tossing niggas right, away. Right, right. So I just want to say that. So everything I'm saying isn't like oh, like you're pandering because right. I know people are gonna do that. Right. Which mm, so what I'm saying it. is when it. When it comes to putting your man on or putting your woman on, mm. sometimes you don't have to do that. Mm. Sometimes they are very comfortable where they're at and there's nothing wrong with it. They are still going to love you. They are right. still going to pour it. See, what well, we're not looking but into... But see, I don't but, want nobody that's comfortable. When I say like, comfortable, I, want you I mean they don't, they don't want they don't want to be put on. Yeah, They, they don't want your help. They want to be they want to be a UPS worker, but they want to be the top dog at the UPS worker. They want to own... They're not their trying to get into your world. They don't want to get into our world. And we're so... Oh, yeah, but I don't mean getting yeah. into our world. I mean putting them on respectively with whatever it is that they want to right. do. So, you know? so what I I would call that instead of putting somebody on. I call that what I'm pouring into. Yeah, I'm pouring into you. I'm right. some super supportive. But if I got a nurse, if I got a if I got a bitch that's a nurse, best believe I, every she day she show up, mm -hmm. baby. <laughs> I got your lunch packed already. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure you did. That's a fact. If you going to, she about to go do a twelve hour shift. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna be the most supportive I could be to the mm -hmm. nurse. I'm not gonna be trying to be like, yo, you know what you should do. You should get on TikTok and tell them what dosage and then do oh, like a TikTok yeah. dance. Like she don't want to be that's trying to bring nurse. her into your world. You get yeah, what I'm saying? But let me ask you this though, saying. because I feel I had a conversation with my best friend yesterday about this too. Do you feel like a lot of men are single because they are experiencing jealousy though? Because oh, yeah. I feel like a lot of men that I have dealt with in the past, or you know, I started talking to, and I'm not saying like poor minds is just the best thing on earth and but, but I've reached uh, I mean it's you know growing I mean? yeah it's growing no, it yeah. it's, it's, we're it's on the tour. best thing we're on doing earth. what we're doing <laughs> those guys next door and pull my like y'all are the best thing on earth <laughs> but I feel like I'm not trying to be funny like I feel like a lot of men I sometimes I feel like they're jealous yeah, they are so of your they don't, success but I yeah, don't know like they feel like cause they're I don't know if that's causing them to be single unfortunately it should but unfortunately a lot of those men all right, here I go. All right, I'm better. Come on, All right. give it to us. We love a good word. Yeah. So, okay, a lot of those men end up in relationships with women who find a way to appease them instead of get away from them. Mm. So, a lot of those, so a lot of those men should be experiencing like a single epidemic, like oh, I can't get with nobody because I'm this ugly person who who is so unhappy with myself that I I can't even support my woman, or I'm so inundated with fucking. An fucking antiquated thoughts that no, oh, my woman shouldn't do better than me. Oh, big like, word, big word. Bring it back. Bring oh, it back. Let's oh. just pull out your phone next time. Oh, okay. all right. Antiquated <laughs> means old. Tough crowd. <laughs> Tough crowd. Jesus Mind you, both Pete. of them got like college degrees and shit. I don't have nothing. I'm joking. I don't have anything. <laughs> I'm like a nigga who went to jail. It's I just got glasses. worries. That's why though. Niggas that be in <laughs> niggas that go to jail be I, very I, educated. Because all y'all do is spent, read and work out. I spent eight, <laughs> I spent eight uh, 12 hours in jail. 
my entire life. I've spent oh, okay. 12 hours in jail. Not a nigga. Hey, you talking about a nigga that went to jail? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, well, how did I get to jail? No. <laughs> you said that. I said I'm like a nigga in jail. Oh, I just got I thought words. you said you win. No, I'm about to say, I, just, I mean, that makes am weak. I was raised by a jail nigga, so that's why. I just that's got probably words. why. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got in trouble. He used to make read the encyclopedia and shit. My dad is, yeah, he's mm-hmm. a real one. That makes me. You used to read an encyclopedia for fun? My dad would. My and mama, we didn't have yeah. all of them. Like, I grew no. up very black, so when you have like E, V. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, <laughs> and I swear to God, my mama used to make me do that too. And you write a report? She didn't make me write oh. a report, but she did used to make me read the encyclopedia. And my mom was a nurse, so she had like all of these medical journals when I was she growing nasty. up. And she used to make me read the medical journals and shit. That's yeah. why I was scared to fuck for a while. <laughs> I've no, seen I, all type of shit in the books. I, I, I do right. think, like I said, I do think those men should be experiencing like an epidemic of being single and be like, mm-hmm. I can't find nobody. But the problem is, though that type of thought process, that type of man is an abusive man mm. nine times out of ten. And it leads to putting that woman in a cycle of abuse to where he may not physically abuse her, right, that's what but he say. emotionally and mentally and verbally abuses her. So he find like, I never understood this, this thought process where men have to like break a bitch down. Mm. I never understood that. Right. So that is the type that's of man good, you're talking about. I never yeah. understood that because I don't, I don't get anything out of my bitch not feeling when she walk in the door, she don't feel like the baddest bitch in the room. Then I don't, I failed. Mm. I did something wrong. But I feel like because, but the it comes from because if you break somebody down and they no longer feel that way, then they feel like they need you. And, and you I also, think that's all. And then you also. It's an ego thing. You also don't have to match up. Right. I, 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 like there's nothing more inspiring than meeting a woman that I'm Who's, attracted yep. to and I want, and I want to love. And then she's on her shit. I right. gotta get on my shit because right. I don't want to waste her right. time. Right. I don't want to just be here uh, uh, holding space. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to feel like I said earlier. If I show up and you already got a good job and you already got a house and you already mm-hmm. got your credit together, you you listening to earn your leisure. You got stocks and bonds mm-hmm. and all of this. Well, when I show up, I'm most men are like, "Fuck, she don't need me." Right. <laughs> That's a lie. Mm. You just can't. You just can't enact the void mm-hmm. that she needs filled, Ooh. which is typically an emotional one, right. a security one, a, a one of that doesn't have Somebody anything to do that with can vanity. Other, Sometimes yeah. she need a nigga that could say, "Bitch, that outfit looks stupid," but you can't right, even get to right. that point because you're so caught up in my money. She don't need me for my money. That's what them niggas is going through. So, so yeah, when you jealous of a woman. It's that because you're not pouring into her. Mm-hmm. And the crazy thing is it be niggas sometimes who be having the money. Like they already got the money mm-hmm. and they still be jealous. Because I think still be jealous. I think a normal perspective that most people look at it from is like, okay, you doing better than the niggas. So that's mm-hmm. why he jealous. But sometimes it be it's niggas not even who about are the money. It's beyond that. It's beyond that. It's beyond that. It's beyond well, beyond because that. you're still doing better than them. Well, we t- You mean mentally? Mental life. Yeah, life. life, right. Like sometimes you like me, i I'll say it about y'all. The reason I love y'all so much is because Y'all are just, I'm, when I'm in a room with y'all, I just feel better. Mm-hmm. I just feel better. Oh, like you. y'all are just, so, y'all are literally great spirits. It's the energy. Yeah. And it if is. a nigga who don't got good energy, if, you know how many niggas with money oh, are not good niggas? We know. I mean, oh, we know. that's why I can 100% <laughs> agree with a lot of the shit that you're saying. Because coming from a perspective of somebody who I've like, I feel like most of the guys that I've dated that were men of a certain caliber however you, you know most, uh, yeah <laughs> like how most people would you know Categorize. define it yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. right like them niggas was not good people mm-hmm. because they weren't good people everything is... they were trash ass people but I people. think also we have but said if that's that all have... you need if it, but I feel like like if you start dating somebody and they a trash ass person but in that specific time in your life you need the money or you need the financial security right. you'll put up with those things and I think that that's how those type of men are so able to get away with those things because let's be honest there's so many beautiful women who they really don't be having nothing going on I mean I'm not trying and to be funny that was us at one yeah. point when we first started this show I think that's why the show has changed so much and that's what I love about mm-hmm. I say this all the time because when we started the show it was get you a BDB yep. girl get you a nigga with money get you but and it's still we, that I mean it's still that but... because I very much still want <laughs> a man who has money who's ambitious but it's not that's not my first priority right, it's not the first person. priority it, it, does he have money or not that used to be like the first thing I would search for in a, yeah. like a man and now it's like now that's that I'm making fact. money y'all, y'all don't y'all I, women it's it's beyond it's that it's my now. job to understand that I I don't understand women mm-hmm. and like it's like my superpower <laughs> to be like I don't understand women and I know I don't understand yeah. women because like 
to a man, to a man like me, right? Or who I've 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 always engaged with my attractiveness. Mm. I've always from a very early, early from a very early age, I knew I was attractive, mm. I, and I've seen how women and girls would um, act around me, I, and I knew how to. So use you it. a baddie? Sure, if that's what we're gonna call I it. I know but, that's right. But what I'm saying is, it's he's a maddie. Period. I like that. I mean, Air five. <laughs> but. <laughs> So, so being able to interact with that, I've been able to move a different way. So when I look at, so I kind of look at shit the same way women look at shit when they see, when like when you see a a, a fine nigga with a girl, you be like, what the fuck is fine ass doing? I'm always, I'm like, what the fuck are you? Or like when I pull up on a girl and you want to start dating <laughs> Bro, me, I can, I'd be I, like, that nigga was ugly as shit. Why are you here? Uh, do, you, it, 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 do you think I'm your that type? What giving, exactly. I'm not your type. I'm <laughs> clearly, I'm, I mean, I mean, but women, y'all don't care clearly about. I'm not your type. Y'all don't care about women. Most women that I've experienced don't, don't care about looks, and I don't. I, I be don't. thinking like. I can't survive if you ugly. I care about certain things, though. Shit. I do. No, it's I like certain, about certain things, things that are not negotiable for me. You don't have to be traditionally attractive, that but means like you don't have to be. But no, you gotta look but, good. but you that's got, what she said. Just, traditionally, to me, <laughs> yeah, you can be. That ugly. nigga can be ugly. Traditionally, <laughs> no, 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 ugly. no, no. If I go like this, you can still be ugly. No, <laughs> but but no, I don't feel that way. I don't feel like I've ever dated nobody that was butt ass ugly. How many fine niggas you dated? I done dated a few. I don't date a few. I can count them on two hands. Yeah, she has. Okay. Like literally going on dates, like interacting, like, getting to know them. Like, like yes. if, he, if he texted you where you at, you gonna answer where you at. I yeah. mean, okay. I done dated some fine niggas. I mean, I feel like it's equal for me though, to be honest. Or you dated some ugly niggas too. I feel like What's traditionally. <laughs> oh yeah, she said I'm not getting canceled. Traditionally, let's go. Not attractive. Not the European. She's not getting look. canceled. Let's go. Yeah. Got that fucking makeup line coming. I said, you're not fucking this up Yeah, else. <laughs> But I'm not going to lie. I feel like if people try to pull Drea's car, I, I agree with her because... What do you mean somebody try to pull? Some, somebody going to be like, my, what about this? And like, none of my niggas have anything. They not, dead, they not dead ass ugly. They, they might not They're be what people... They're subjectively ugly. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on who you asking. It depends on who it you depend asking. It depends on who you asking. Because I got friends where it's like, I've certain niggas that I've dated, they would never date them niggas. But they like would never look twice at them. You can, like, if me and you are dating, and you bring your friends would never ever question they, not, they'd always be like no He's it can be <sighs> always they've said somebody <laughs> everybody mean, thinks points that was made i, I feel right. the same way i know that's right <laughs> there's always somebody who'd be like okay she all right or he all right oh no that, i mean but some niggas is hating there's somebody out there that's like mouse's eye i think men that judge other men looks it's kind of weird anyway. How is that weird? You I know be judging, nigga, child. You do? Yes. I, mean, I mean, that nigga ugly. <gasps> right, because you know. <laughs> but then I be like, I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> you there's men you be like, But like, do you say that even if he got like certain characteristics, like if he... Oh, I'm not breaking your face Oh, that's what I'm like, he ain't breaking I'm it down. Breaking okay. I'm not breaking your face the cheekbone. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if I see a nigga... Oh, that like, nigga got nice teeth. It, I'm not, it, I've said that. Okay, he I'm ugly, like, but he got like, nice teeth. I can fight, so I'm good. Like, like I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm also a nigga who's when it comes to that shit. You you ain't they, you, like there's some niggas who are just like universally fine. Like and there's some niggas who are universally ugly. Universally I didn't say child, that. like that remote. I didn't. <laughs> I, no, I didn't you know say how that. the remote turn on any TV? That nigga turn off any bitch. That's what he do. <laughs> universally. <laughs> Javi, that was good. Hey, I got Javi smiling. Yeah, let's go. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Damn it, I can't get a lease for I nothing. Mean, I mean, he ain't lying. You know, I mean. At least gonna, I know. At least gonna own a company, boy. I swear to God, oh, she, she got a real poker face. Yeah, she like, don't play. No, but like I said, I feel like you know, I have never cared about looks. Like I said, when oh, I'm dating know. a nigga, we know. I feel like you used nigga. to like fine niggas back in the day. I feel like not you back in the day. Yeah, yeah. I, I lost my touch. Yes. Well, no, I'm not saying that you, you lost. Man. I'm not saying I'm that. the only one. Okay, you my only fine nigga. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. I ain't saying that you've lost your touch, but I just think that's not like one of your top qualifiers it's anymore. Not, but I feel like I think that it used to be though. Like you used to be like, oh, now, bitch, he's so your fine. Of women, I think you be shocked when a girl's kind of like, because you be like, I'm fine and I'm mouse. No, I don't. You don't no, do that. No, 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 that gets hung up. That, it, like, no, absolutely not. That's not your approach. Not at all. So not, you usually you, you can ask anyone. I'm no, date, I'm not. I'm not, not I'm at asking. All. No, I'm I. Because a lot of men in your position that are fine. Yeah, but I have more to offer than that. I just that is just uh, you just lead with that. He said this face and this body is just the plus. <laughs> no, no, not right now, child. The body, <laughs> body still COVID. I'm gonna have to go see one of y'all doctors. I'm about to. I'm about tired. 
Oh, this Doctors, workout. Doctors, this is all natural. I was about to say, we'll send you the link. Thank you. You know I be on the post. You see how I be on the post now? Natural. Can I repost y'all post? I be like, natural. He childish. <laughs> because I be knowing. It was her fault. It was my it fault. It was Lex's because fault. Because I said, why when we, every time I post a picture, niggas be under my pictures like, natural. So now, I just, be, so now I just do it. He'd every like, time I see a post, I be like, Natural. It's like why do I try to curse me out about Dre? I said, God damn. I said, boy, I'll beat you fuck up. Stop playing with me. What he saying? He's just like, bitch, nigga. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, okay. That was somebody from the poor crew. They do not play about me. I was like, all right now. I was like, all right. I love them in real life. I was so you don't lead with your looks, but you know you're attractive. I know, but it's a because you shouldn't. It's a qualifier, bro. Like I just looks is a qualifier. I feel like it's like with me. I know if it's one thing you ain't ever because. Dating me, I get it. Look at it's, 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 it's like tread lightly. Nigga. Yeah, I get it. When you're dating me, it's, it's like a roller coaster. It's, so at I've least you ain't never. That too. They need to shut the fuck up. Whoever is telling you that needs. They said about you. Yeah, they said oh, dating me is like a me. roller coaster. I thought you said about me. I said them niggas playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, he. Thought, I can see it though. No, That's why thought, we get along so well. <laughs> no, he thought somebody told me girl dating mouse is like a roller coaster. I thought they said it. But I'm just saying, I get it. Dating me is a lot of ups and downs, <laughs> a lot of downs. But what I'm saying a is, lot of downs. one thing about me you'll never have to question is if you fine. Because you know I ain't going to be here if you ain't. I know that's I'm very sure. Now, you might have to question that about me. That's what we did for it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't do that. I can't. Well, one, one, I'm just too vain. I might be. I'm too vain. So you already know you. no woman with me is going to be ugly. I'm not gonna lie. No, to That's no one's thing, to, yeah. to this, no one's eyes. Yeah. I'd be like, nah, bro. She. So you feel like every single woman you ever dated, every like you ain't got no little ug mugs that you hit. Don't lie. Pry my pry my uh They could be like, don't, Yeah, I fucked Mouse daughter, Jones. My oldest daughter. Oh fuck. Oh, I fucked They could some. be like, Yeah, I fucked with Mouse. No, not fucked with me. Not if he was ugly. Okay, but fuck. fuck. But even still, but fuck. You, no, you was just giving your meat out. It be it's a bit. You don't a have plastic, no criteria for who it's you get. A did. plastic barrier. It's like, did it really happen? Oh my god, that's why I have fucked some sixes and fives. Okay. Nothing below a five. Okay, it goes below. I feel like anything below a five, you just being mean. Because can you really be lower than a five? Yes. yes. Leg. Yes. Oh, y'all trying in this podcast? I, you Leg, you feel me. like somebody could be lower than a five? Yeah, I feel like a five is like the if you so call you feel somebody, like everybody in the world is five and above. Yes. You are trying to sell something. She that baby that lip gloss is selling <laughs> that, that out. That lip gloss is trying to get sold, boy. That lip gloss is cool. Her lip gloss is popping. <laughs> no, for real, y'all. I do. I feel like I ain't never just seen nobody where I was like, I it, can't find nothing cute about you. If you have to find like everybody something got cute, something cute about them, find it might even be your pinky toe. But it's something. First of all, pinky toe is probably where you, that's why you can't nobody be attending now with me because that pinky toe be ugly. Like oh she, she no, some people don't got a toenail on their pinky toe. Ugly. That's the wild part. That, that bring you down two points. <laughs> so you feel like <laughs> every woman, woman, but if you don't got a pinky that's toe, that's why I don't believe in tens because the pinky toe tells the truth. Mm. But let me ask you this: So you feel like every woman that you have dealt with, like emotionally dated? and dated, has been a bad bitch? Yeah, yeah. Like serious relationships. They might not feel that about each other because you know how they get. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, every woman's like that bitch wasn't even. I'm like, yes, she was. Stop. What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, she, she was fine. She I will say this though, but that's. <sighs> I think it's very important. I think all men need to hear that that are listening. It's very important, even if you have the baddest bitch in the world. She's posting pictures and getting twenty thousand likes and five hundred comments. You still better compliment her every yeah. day, every fucking every day. Because guess what? Out of all those likes and all she those comments, yours. I don't care because I want to hear it. From you, mm-hmm. and that's, that's that's a shame. We, we even got to tell niggas that. That's a shame. But if you know what, if we have to tell the nigga that, that is the type of nigga we was talking about earlier. That nigga, he's not doing it by accident. It's not like, oh, he's jealous. He's upset. He wants her to. He want. He's doing that to bring Break her. Break the bitch a, down. That's really what he's doing. Mm. He's that's I'm really what you nigga. He that's really what every nigga doing. And I'll take that one. I'll stand mm-hmm. on that one. Any nigga that know his bitch bad, she got a bunch of followers and all that. If you on Instagram, now I'm not talking about nigga don't be on Instagram like that. If you on Instagram like everybody else picture, but you can't tell your bitch she fine, mm-hmm. you trying to you? break her down, my nigga. Right. And that's corny. Right. That's corny. That's that's mm-hmm. a weak nigga. That is corny. That is corny. Now, I, now I'm the first one to tell you. I don't care how many followers you got, a lot or a little. Once I start liking you, I'm not liking shit. I'm not. I'm not wow. commenting. Well, I don't comment anyway. 
Uh, but I, once I start liking you. I can feel that. I don't do that either. Once I start yeah, liking you because it's like, uh, no, because bitch, you going to make me mad. What that caption mean? Well, see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bitch, come, when, you, when we get home, we got to talk. For me, it's not like that. I just feel like when we start dating, well, I don't really want people. Liking on my picture, so I knew she that. did. Yeah, I knew that's why we like was getting Cause... serious. That's wild. She don't fuck with you because she. When I say Lex, like everybody pictures. Oh, I do like everybody pictures. Anytime Except I, for nigga that I, I be on the timeline because I rarely ever scroll through Instagram. You ain't gonna never really see me liking nobody pictures. I never really look Child, at my I checked, timeline. I checked on Drea. She didn't respond four days later, and that's why I like yo. Here's my number, bro. I was being a good friend. I'm checking all that through DM. She ain't. I never check later. nothing. No, I literally get on Instagram, post pictures, look at people's stories, and then I get off. Dre likes like my pictures and her best other friends' pictures, and that's it. Cause I never, cause I don't scroll my timeline, so I never see the other people that I follow pictures yeah, I listen, and stuff. I'm the same way. But yeah, like so. If Lex don't stories. like your picture, she don't fuck with you. Cause when I say every, no, I fuck with Mouse, but Mouse she has like everybody me pictures. Off a lot. Me and Mouse. Well, well, I'm playing. I know you put let's, um, let's unpack it. What did Mouse done to piss you off? Let's you know, unpack it. It's just she, things. She like switch. Mm-hmm. You gotta make feel comfortable. Yes. You know, we we not gonna get too deep into it, but you know. I don't know. I don't you know do anything. know. Uh, you know? I don't know. I don't know shit. There's two people in this pocket that know shit. You wanna mm. feel No, I don't wanna feel it. Okay. Nobody. All right. We're All not right. gonna get into I'm it. I'm switching my legs. We'll 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 discuss. We're gonna unpack after the show. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We'll, we'll do dinner. <laughs> we gonna have a little din din in this little din din. I'm fucking weak now. Everybody about to be in the comments. Ooh, mm-hmm. Lex and Mouse. It is, it is. It's that. And I that's... want y'all to know it's that. <laughs> wait, wait uh, Wolf, which one is mine? The f- right here. Mm-hmm. It's that. It's that. It's really that. And she playing on on y'all internet. Oh, now right. see. Let's get into this. Okay, so the conclusion was <laughs> these niggas ain't shit. Get rid of these them. niggas ain't shit. Get rid of them. Period. <laughs> in this topic. Uh-oh. Mm. It's sex. <laughs> We're not there yet. We're not there yet, but it's coming. See, this is... Okay. That was foreplay. So, we wanted to know, you know, should men with newborns date? Mm. Why the fuck am I well-versed in this? Because you, you got, have you kids. Got kids. So, I at one met, point, so, they was newborns. So, okay, so let me explain. And so, my I'm kid sure situation... Was, my, okay, tell my us. My kid situation is a little different than everybody else's. So, I had my oldest daughter at 17. Mm-hmm. I was not with her mother. Mm. Her mother was somebody's girlfriend who I didn't like. So that was God getting me back. Uh-huh. Mm. That's what you get. Yeah. So that was, and then I've had custody of her since she was three. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next time I had a child was five years later. I was married to my baby mother. Mm. And me and her were together. Oh. So when my child was one month, the only one I was fucking with was her mama. Mm-hmm. So, and then we didn't, we didn't get divorced till well, my, my son was five, four or five, mm-hmm. five. Six, man, mm-hmm. so six one. Um, when we broke up, so I don't know um about that life. Mm-hmm. But do I think they should? Uh, ba- baby father is not a relationship title. So if a nigga has a baby but he's not with the baby mother, I don't see why he shouldn't. See, be I just feel her. like when the baby is new though. It's that, first of I all, it's too much going it's on. It's always still if a possibility. A, if you're like, a father that is there all the time and helping, you really don't have time. Because let me tell you, uh, a newborn with a mom, mom, you don't have time to date. If they're not together. Yeah. If they're not together. See, this is what the, y'all have to stop painting shit with bro brushes. And a lot of that is these niggas fault for fucking it up for the rest of us. Mm-hmm. But 
like I said, baby father is not a relationship title. If a, we've all seen it, it it's un, unfortunately it's the norm now. Mm. Niggas be together, that baby but, shower, right. they together, but gender let, reveal, it's kind of shaky. But let me tell you why it <laughs> By doesn't baby's work. Birthday, them niggas is over. And why? But let me tell you why. I really want to talk about that too. After the people, people, but let me tell you why it doesn't work. Together. It doesn't work because when you're like, if you're dating like a woman like me, I require time and attention. I'm not gonna lie. You recall, Shit. Okay. If I want you, if I have a show in fucking Ohio and I want you to be there, nigga, come out and support I've me and let's do. To a show. You We're always invited. No, I know you invite. I'm just saying. We got we beefed up right now, but that's another topic. But anyways, mm -hmm. I feel mm -hmm. like if you have a newborn child and you're dating a woman like me, I, I require can't wait time to talk about these. I require time and attention. <laughs> if you have a newborn, you're not going to be able to give that to me. That's I like true. to get up and go. I that's like to get true. up and do things. So if you have a newborn child, you can. That's not true. Especially in those early months, that baby got to be up under the mama all the time. Okay. How many times you should see a nigga with a two week old like, nah, you know, I'm gonna but get my baby. Sometimes mothers need breaks. <laughs> mothers need breaks. Never. You need to be you there to help. You better call Big Mama. I'm with my bitch. Mothers I'm need playing. breaks, I'm but this playing. is why shit. I'm just That's no, what I'm I was. But this is why women they go uh, postpartum depression happens because you. I mean, they yeah, a baby it. is supposed to be under the mom a lot when they're first born, but that woman needs a fucking break, the, and you're nowhere to be found because so you, you in a room with a bad bitch like me. So well, the attention is in. So you may not be able to date a man with children or I, have sex with a man. No, with children, I'm not saying but that. Someone, but I just, saying that men like. Painting it with this broad brush as if all men are like shackled to their baby mother, no matter what. You shouldn't what be the... shackled. You need to be shackled to your baby and you need to be available at all times. So if your baby mama calls you, you need to be available to go and do whatever you have to do for your child because it's a newborn. Yeah, but you you put provisions in order. Like, hey, listen, I'm going out of town for a few days. If you need me. Like... But people don't do that. Well, you, How but... you know? You got kids? I, I, I dated a person with a, with a kid. Well, well you, you dated the wrong you nigga. You dated a kid with a kid. Because Ooh. that's one of the first things that me and my baby mother always always do. Because I've dated do. a few dudes who have told me, like, I got to do some stuff for my kids. I got to do stuff with my kids. Right, but that's people that are properly communicating. Let's not act like majority of people Remember cannot me, properly communicate. But why are you though. dating somebody who can't properly communicate with you what is, about what they got going on I with their baby mama or with their child when no, y'all are together? That's what, what I'm saying is a lot of people don't know how to properly co-parent. That's all I'm saying. I'm just playing devil's advocate. I'm being honest. Yeah, but you can't, Most not relationships are not um, healthy co-parenting situations. Let's yeah, be right. honest. It's like They're a, not. Yeah, it's typically like just so the things like that y'all are saying, shit. Mouse, one thing I know about Mouse, and I have I date men with kids. We all date men with kids. If you're not a good father, it's not even a, a, a question that I'm talking about. I don't real. like that. Because so I love niggas that be good daddies. Right. So you're talking about <laughs> hey, men. Daddy. That's one of the first things that you pay attention to is if a man is a good dad, right? Yeah. So your situations are unicorn situations. Let's keep it 100. Mouse, oh, you, I hate I'm, when we say that. Unicorn? I mean, There's a lot of good fathers out here. When we say unicorn, what's your to definition do we, of a lie? Right, a lie. My definition is that we have you two have not experienced all the men in America so to true. say that. That is true. A lot of no. So I think a better preference, and I'm not telling black women how to speak. I'm just saying a better, a a a, a, a bit more well received uh, a comment would be the men I experienced. Okay, the men I well no, because the men I experienced are good fathers. Uh, see, so what are these you know, So what I'm talking about because I have so you a lot of friends them, no, and she's experienced it's not a unicorn. No, but we I haven't talk, dated a lot of what, a well, lot of I, men. Because, Damn, nigga, what but, you because also for me, I'm not also <laughs> just speaking on people that I've dated. I'm speaking on shit that I've seen. Right. Like, I'm talking about like have family. children. Right, our, right. I'm right. talking about friends. Listen, I'm talking do, about associates. Like just listen, shit I've seen. One thing I will here. continue to say my whole life, my whole career in this entire podcast is if it's one thing niggas gonna do, it's embarrass me. Okay? Mm -hmm. Niggas are gonna they be, be embarrassing. embarrassing they, us they, too, they, they, they embarrassed, all right? And they gonna make it hard to defend them. Mm -hmm. But if the truth is the truth, there's a lot of men out here taking care of their kids, taking care of their responsibilities. And I would, if you, if we just look at the numbers, the men are at home. The men are home with the family, they're staying there. So I don't know if they're, I don't know if we need to do like another. We need a census going another on. Another census That's of like single fathers. Yes. Yes. But these niggas, 
All right. And but I, I know feel like you can speak say, from a different right. perspective because you have custody of one of your kids. Right. Yeah. Niggas is That's not trying to get custody, custody of their kids. Have. Niggas yes, is not getting yes, custody would. of their yes, kids. Yes, they let me tell you this. And, and let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. This judicial system is so fucked. Thanks. I've never spoken about it anywhere. This would be the only place I've spoken about it where I'm about to say. What this is what I'll say. Y'all gonna have to put some music. Javier, like, on it. When my daughter. Javier, don't play with me. Don't put no damn music on He do. He do. He I'm being so serious. I've never spoken about this anywhere. And y'all know I'm very private with my family. You are. You are. When it comes to that child right there, my oldest, she was three years old when I got custody of her. The fight, the fight I had to fight to get custody of that child from a terrible fucking home, they were willing to put my daughter at one point they did at one point i had custody of my child they took her from me put her in a shelter mm. with her mother mm. just to say the child was her with, mother yeah. mm-hmm. i i can count on two hands how many times i've cried in my entire life it's not a healthy thing i get it but or whatever mm-hmm. i'm not going to therapy whatever yeah but when they took Better my help. baby com, call when, poor minds. when they took my baby right. and took her to that shelter I wailed Mm -hmm. like a dying child because I just fought to get her. Mm -hmm. Just to get her, I had to fight. I have been paying child support. This child has been, I'll put it like this, because fuck, that bitch don't do nothing anyway. So my my daughter, my oldest daughter has a younger sibling from her mother. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to paint this picture for you. The mother has never been able to afford an apartment afford clothes, anything. My mm-hmm. child support was floating her in her raggedy ass nigga life. Right. Now, that child that she has a sibling, that that child is only let's say two, two years, maybe three years younger than mm-hmm. my oldest child. Mm-hmm. They were living in a in one bedroom in that nigga mama house. Everybody was in his room. Mm. Where was that child made? Mm. on the bed next to my child mm. when he get mad this one I, mean, I ain't gonna talk too deep about that part right, but right. when they get mad nigga burnt up her clothes and my kid clothes mm. yeah you already know what time i was on handle right, that right, it right, never right. happened again but still that's the type of nigga then they was left unattended a dog attacked my a child mm. child forever got a scar in the eye mm-hmm. forever Right. right now she's 15 dealing with that. Mm. The ramification of being 15, a beautiful girl, but she got That's this thing right. that think her make make her feel. Y'all girls, y'all grew yeah, up, y'all yeah, know yeah. what she's dealing course. with. Of course, yeah. Mm-hmm. We could keep going on. Mm-hmm. We keep going on, riding in a car with no seatbelt, no child's many CPS violations. Mm-hmm. But and when I went to get my her to kid, stay with the mom. They want to keep her with mm-hmm. So I will not ever say no nigga don't want custody of his kids. Most men. Even if it's not the best thing for the child, mm-hmm. most men probably want custody of their kids, especially these young boys. Yeah. But the judicial system is so against us and is so attached to the status quo of keeping the child with the mom mm-hmm. that a lot of children are being kept with mothers that are incapable of taking care of them in the way they should be. Right. And putting them in worse situations. Right. So sure if, if y'all want to clap up for me for having custody of my child sure but that i'm not a unicorn there's a when i was going through it i was at the same time i was 21 years old mm-hmm. i was talking to niggas waiting in those courtrooms many courtroom days where we have to be in court at 8 p.m won't get seen till 4 30 mm-hmm. if everybody knows the court shut down at five mm. what, what are we really going to do oh you usually going to tell me that there's an adjournment we got to come back again yeah that's what we was doing right that's what was going on. Right. So there's a lot of men, old, my age, younger, that probably should have their kids. Mm-hmm. But the court system is so fucked, especially in New York. I mean, I think. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, out here. Especially I in mean, New I'm York. not going to lie. But, I do feel like there there is two sides of it. Like, I'm not going to take away from, you know, the things that you said and like your experiences, because I do feel like, you know, you're a good man. You're going to take care of your child. And there's 
probably other men. Well, you did say that you met other men. Like the, I know every man. I mean, in court, I know right? Every so other men, I know but every man the about I just feel but like you can't even be around me and not be a good father, right? But that's what I'm well, saying. Well, I feel like that too, though. I can't date. I can't date no a guy that's right. not but a that's good what, father. But let's also let's like. Well, I, I don't mean, date niggas, but, we, but yeah. I'm not saying that everybody out there is a deadbeat yeah. dad. But like you know, we can't take away from the women that that are good mothers and they don't have that support. And and I'm not saying that you you are. I'm just saying, but I feel like just as much as there are, you know, men out there that want custody of their child. At the end of the day, if I have a child right now, if some, if anything happens and everything will be fine. The responsibility is but on. But you're also in a great financial The responsibility position. is on me. It doesn't matter about the finances. I'm talking and you about have mentally. freedom. I am talking about mentally. That's why I said for the first six months, I feel like if me and you have a child mm-hmm. and we're not together be right there. for the first six months, I'm moving to even, I, don't, I don't even need to hear about you dating another bitch because what if I'm having a bad fucking day and I just need to talk to my fucking baby daddy and I'm stressed out, but you ain't on a date at... Ruth's Chris with a bitch. Like, I feel well, like see, I'm a, I'm a the men, it's a lot yeah. of stuff that goes on when the baby is first born that the baby daddy needs to be well, there not for even, his baby. Well, not even a, just when the baby not first even born. Romantically. Like, not even when the baby first born. And I know somebody's gonna hit us and feel the way, but it's like everybody knows when when you dating me, if my baby mother calls, everything stops. If if son, if Sonny's mother calls, everything stops. It doesn't matter. Bitch, we could be mid go kart. <laughs> Hello, what happened? You good? Mm-hmm. Oh, she might have to curse me out about something. Right. I've mm-hmm. done that. I've done that because this is the woman raising my kid. Right. Yeah. This is a woman raising my kid. I mean, and that's different. I feel like it should be that way, you know. But my the only the only concern that I have with dating dudes who have newborns is that I feel like the relationship can be rehatched. But what if they never was right. in a relationship in the first place? What if they just you know what I mean? Well, I mean, that's different, though. There's a crazy night at, at, at Blue. I mean, that's crazy different. Night then that's, karaoke. There's a crazy well, night at Zari. Right. Well, um, that's different because then that's circumstantial. Like, if y'all weren't ever in a relationship, then, yeah, the likelihood of y'all being together after having a kid is slim to none. But if we're talking about somebody who was in a relationship with somebody and then y'all broke up and you have a newborn, I just don't know if I want to charter into that territory. I don't, I don't know if I want to tread should. into those waters. If you have to think about it, you shouldn't because then yeah. you're never going to put your full entire relationship. I'm not mm-hmm. saying you're right or wrong. I'm say, I'm actually saying you're right. If you have to... if Because I feel like and then it's like, and it's not even just to to blame it on men or blame it on women, but I feel like it's a sense of entitlement that both parties have once they have a child together. Mm-hmm. Like, you be feeling like, oh, that's my baby mama. I can always go fuck with her whenever I want to. And women be feeling that way, too. Like, a Thanks. nigga can get in a relationship with another woman, and then she be like, well, that's my baby daddy. I can still call him. Or, you know, do little shit. Like, when a nigga come over trying to, like, you know, seduce him and shit. And niggas is easily seduced. I'm feeding the baby, titty all yeah. all on FaceTime. Like, Man, the other titty is just out. The other titty just like, out. Like, I feel like people have this sense of... Um, Get the titty on my baby head. <laughs> yes, I think people have this sense of um, entitlement when it comes to, like, having a child with well, somebody. You boundaries. really feel like... It's all about boundaries. Mm, it's all about yeah. boundaries, and that goes back to the... But that's rare, the first especially thing I said in a black you. community. Well, that's why I said that goes back to the very first thing I said to you about this situation. It's all about the the... the you said why those people have those are situations where people who should not be together mm-hmm. are having not only are they together now they create a new life together. Mm-hmm. These niggas don't know how to set no boundaries. These niggas still petty and got fucking there's there's fucking layers on layers and layers of top of whatever emotional trauma issues they've already had. Now you bring the baby into the mix. Mm-hmm. Now we go one further. Now we bring in an existential person in. Right. Oh, come on. No. I just feel like it's a little disrespectful. What? The day. Like if you're dating somebody with a newborn and the mother has to be stuck at home and, you know, doing all, she can't go on vacation and she can't do all this. So your baby like, mother on vacation. Niggas don't do that enough. It, but well, I'm, niggas don't got saying. enough money my to baby, they're they're not doing my, baby, my, baby, my, baby, my, my child is we about talking to go about to school. You? My, my child about to go to school. She about to be in fifth grade. My oldest about to be in tenth grade. Right now, their mother is on a is on a vacation, and I'm and I'm good for just sending her on a staycation. Like you go, you all right? Here, right. boom, I booked the room. But niggas, niggas do not. I mean, do but that's that. what I'm saying. That is but not. You're a different category I, of. I hear that, but I feel like some niggas just that, don't even care for real about the mental. Out of sight, out of mind type shit. 
I feel like a lot of niggas, and it's crazy as it sounds, I think they don't even just be caring like the mental they state don't. of their baby don't. mama. It's like, just take care of my kids. I, I don't really but give a fuck. they don't know no better. I, yeah. I, don't think they know. I know better. Right. right. I know better. So I try and tell niggas better. That's why God Next Door is the platform it is. Right. We, that's why, you know, we love the, me and Mac and Ryan, we love when we see the comments like, um, oh, it's a it's a it's a man led podcast, but it's not like they're not niggas. It's not because I'm not like gonna that. lie. It's hard for us, I think, sometimes to either like go on male platforms or have male guests because you know how I get it. Podcasts I get it. Is. I get it. And so when people say that's why we're so like we have our episodes where it's fun and it's ignorant and it's just mm -hmm, fun, mm -hmm. but it's never dangerous. Right. And, yes. and we're never out there spewing, spewing no garbage. And if we are just saying and things that come most. to our mind and it's not right, we have, there's many a times me, Ryan, and Mac have put our foot in our mouth. Right. And it had to, and then we double, but the thing is, we don't apologize quietly or we don't fix it quietly. All right, next week. So who's wrong with this? I right, bet, yo, can you come on the podcast and just let us know where we fucked up at? Boom, mm -hmm. bring him on the podcast. Boom, we fucked up. Now we better for it. So right. that's why I got me and Max say it all the time. Like, you gotta love the woman. You there's a certain level of love you have to have for the woman carrying a child because that's Thanks. the one carrying your child. But there's so many niggas who don't but there's so many all, niggas that don't know what postpartum. You could go to Atlanta right now. And I'm only saying it because we just know like the levels, right, right? Right, right? You go to Atlanta right now, you ask a nigga what postpartum is. Niggas don't know. Niggas don't know. They have no idea. They're but right. I, that's but a new that's a new drink at Blue. But what? they got four kids. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, but they got four kids. <laughs> With they four different four women. Yeah. With four different women. Or even worse, they got four kids with the same woman. Yeah. That means the same, the same one. She never got to get over the first three. And you gave another one. I mean, and just even from a medical standpoint, too, you have to have a lot of respect for women when they bear a Let's child. Let's go, girl Melanie. And when they and when they have a child. <laughs> because that's, true. that's the closest you ever are to death as facts, a woman. Facts, without facts. actually dying. Yes. Especially as a black woman. Being in labor. Black, black uh, maternity mor uh, mortality rates. Yes. Are it's insane. insane. Yes. It's in. So like a woman. So like when I. So now when I think about it, past just the level of when the baby's here, when child's here, when like when I realized that shit, I kind of looked at my baby mother even differently. Yeah. And I already looked at her. Risking I, your life. I was like, yeah. you really, you really risked your life for to the kid. create life. Like you really, you got it. Whatever. And now going forward, I'm 33 now. So now I'm not really dealing with nobody that I don't see myself having kids with, right? So it was like same. Damn. You willing to risk your life to to bring life in here? You so got, you've been you, married before. Do you want to get married again? Hell yeah! I don't know how I'm surviving single. I'm I'm nobody. I should not be alive right now. I'm weird. Why I, do you place so much <laughs> emphasis on being married? Like, why is that so important to you? Um, that's a good question. God damn. Um, you know this is what we do. Yeah, no, yeah, not okay. for fun. No, I, no. <laughs> get the big check. Get the big check. I think it's a little, a little fun, but you know. <laughs> um. It, the thing is, I don't think I put enough emphasis on being married mm. because I've been hurt already. I've 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 not allowed myself to be hurt since I got divorced. Mm. Like getting married at twenty one. Now, I do not suggest it for anyone, but getting married at twenty one and all that form. Think about who you became. The person you are today, a lot of that was formed in your 20s. Mm -hmm. So a lot of that for me was formed as a father and a husband, mm -hmm. right? And then it was taken away. Mm -hmm. It was ripped. I didn't know who the fuck I was. I was out here wilding for respect after that like, because it was like, oh, I'm never experiencing this hurt again. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I put enough emphasis on it because I don't want to engage with those thoughts about being that level of hurt ever again or mm -hmm. even giving somebody the opportunity. I have a hard time now even giving someone the opportunity to hurt me. Mm. If we're in a relationship, we're in, we're in the relationship on my terms. Agreed. I'm so just there is no, so you're not going to hurt me. There, I'm not even, I'm not, you can't even hurt me at this point. You can disappoint me. And if you disappoint me, it's way worse it's than done. hurting me. And, and yeah. it's done. And it's done. Yeah. It's done. So I don't even let myself get into those uh, situations. But, Definitely, I know, I know I want to be married again because, like I said, there's something about just coming home and knowing your person is there. Partnership, partner, yeah. Your, that's your, that's my dog. I can't, I can't wait to meet. I can't wait to be. Just, I just want my wife, my wife, my wife. Everybody, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I think that's really. I want my wife. <laughs> Yo, me and Mac be talking, and boy, he be. I be like, nah, I say my wife. Like he'll say because that's, yeah. that's the homie. So Chris yeah. will be like, that's like my sister. You know, they daughter is my godchild. So it's like he'll be like, yo. Da, 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 and I'll be like, you know, he'll tell me something. And I'll be like, 
boy, whatever you do, just don't do what I did. And I think that's so important. And I just be trying to save it. But it is. People don't stress the importance of, like, your wife, your husband, like, really being your dog. It's your title. And your person. You know what's the worst thing for me? I will say this. And I think we can kind of, I don't know if y'all have experienced this, but doing what we do, like, this actually happened the other night. It's crazy because we had the New York show. And New York is a hard market. I was really proud of us. You know, we did good at the New York show. It was lit. But this was the most show where we had people coming up to us crying, literally in tears, like, you changed my life, I'm going through depression, I'm going through this, I'm going through that. Oh, yeah, they feeling me. Yeah, like, they are, like, they were so passionate, and it's crazy, Mm because, like, you know, we ended the night, we had some drinks, you know, and I went to my hotel room, and I'm, like, by myself, and then I'm, like, damn, like, this is It would be nice to celebrate this with a partner. I was in D.C. What do you want me to do? Call Big Daddy. You see how, she, you see how childish she Big is? Big Mousy. She going she to play in my face like I'm not sitting right here. Mouse. She tried it, Mouse. She tried me. She tried your boy. <laughs> Did I say we're not doing this? You thing? tried your boy. But, <laughs> not your boy. <laughs> <laughs> but I said at the end of the day, it's like, you know, when so many people are looking at you, y'all you deserve, make them. I hope, y'all, I hope y'all really love doing yourselves for that in New York because oh, yeah. that same song. No, it says New a lot. York. Everybody that came that's like in the podcast, you know, market yeah. or whatever. Yeah, because Everybody was saying it. I was in DC. Okay. Everybody, cool. everybody Trading was. Two, um, income household. All right. Ooh, it's not C. Power couple. Period. Yes. Whatever. Okay. Bye. You just want to put me on. And it. But yes, everybody. So everybody that came to the show that's like that does podcasts yeah. and stuff out here in New York, they all said that they was like, "This is fucking crazy." Like I knew y'all was doing y'all thing, but like not like I knew this. Y'all are affecting women in a different way. Yeah, bro. It's, and uh, we say our shows are like a a black women love fest. It is. And, it's and, a and, love and, fest. And, and that's and now I think niggas be wanting to come too because you know we be having this work contest and shit. And and it be a lot of beautiful women. Mm-hmm. I I'm not niggas be like out all the bad bitches be at the poor bad bitches don't listen to bad bitches don't listen to podcasts. They you don't. buy a ticket, you can get in. I hope you don't let niggas in. Do not I let do. niggas in the show. Well, no, but there not. should be spaces just for women to be able no, to be their No, I agree with that, but I will say, but self. it's never been like niggas that be there on some weird type of time. No, I'm not saying it yeah, would, yeah, but yeah. I just feel like the presence of men sometimes. But we have a lot of male listeners. We do like men that they're gonna love. They they gonna feel like finally. We got somebody that we can relate to because there's niggas out there like you that want to hear you on our platform. Like you know what I'm saying? Well, to talk about this because I feel like this kind of segues into another topic. When you, so when you got, <laughs> so, okay, when you got divorced, like, it's yeah. one of the reasons why you feel like you got divorced. Do you think it was, like, financial no. reasons or financial it was, stability? It was, it was two kids ill-equipped to be married. Okay. Was, and, and we didn't have, we didn't, all right, about to get biblical. We didn't have wise counsel mm. and we weren't able to appreciate the blessings of what a helpmate was. Yeah. The Bible says in Ephesians, the Bible, I'm sorry, in Proverbs, the Bible mm-hmm. says, a man who finds a wife findeth a good thing right. and obtains favor of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And as a young man who was so caught up in my ego and I was so caught up in trying to f- figure out who I was that I was so focused on that and I wasn't focused on my wife. Mm. So we began to engage in a toxic uh, in- interaction between each other. Where it was the norm to be pushing on each other and hitting on each other. And, mm. and, and there were just certain things that once you kind of open that, 
I'm not going to say you you can't close that lid because we did eventually, mm-hmm. but it's hard. And especially right. if you don't put the time and effort in, right? If you're not, if you're not really looking at yourself like, nigga, I fucked up. Right. I didn't, I obtained favor of the Lord and did not appreciate it, mm-hmm. which then caused that woman, like most women have to do, to now have to find herself by herself. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if you if you allow someone to find themselves by themselves, then there's really no need for you. Right. Right. Because that's the worst thing you can let a woman do, honestly, when she's in a relationship with you, too. Because then once she finds herself, she's like, Many why are you here? Many times I feel like I can... Like, why are you yeah. here? I mean, and that was, that was a great explanation for the topic because it's like, I really had wanted to talk about, like, giving women the world doesn't have shit to do with money. Giving... Giving your money woman the world, the world doesn't have shit to do with me. Money's not the world. That's that's what it we have to goes. remember. It comes and goes. It comes and goes. There's other things that are way more time, Tangible, yeah. effort. I can't tell you, and I'm only 33. This is a crazy part. Mm-hmm. So I can't imagine what other older niggas think about it like this in a situation like this. But there's so many times I look back and be like, damn. I wish I was there when Sonny said this or the first time she did that. But I wasn't because mm-hmm. I was busy finding myself. And, and we were busy being upset of each other mm-hmm. and allowing time and effort. To, damn, I wish I would have known how. This just, you know how, y'all watch This Is Us? Yes. Well, I, I watched the watched first oh, two, three seasons. Okay. So there's this scene, I want to say two seasons ago, when Rebecca learned that she had the uh, the the disease, mm-hmm. uh, that, that she was going, getting dementia. Mm-hmm. And she said to, uh, she said to one of the kids, or maybe Miguel, she says, I don't want to forget just the random Saturday in Pittsburgh. Mm. And then the whole, and then the flashback of the show is literally just a random Saturday that they were in the house mm-hmm. playing, having fun. Mm-hmm. You know how many times that happens? You know how many times that, that happens in our lives mm-hmm. with our significant other? Now, just imagine removing yourself. Mm-hmm. Now, you're not there. How many of those times? And I can't go there and insert myself. Those right. memories are forever her by herself. Mm-hmm. She to make, might have took the kids to, you know, uh, White Post Farm and they did the farm thing or mm-hmm. uh, uh, cinema on the lawn, mm-hmm. whatever. And I wasn't yeah. there because I was so busy trying to be Mouse Jones. I was so mm-hmm. busy trying to be the, the 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 best opinion. And, you know, I wanted to have the best opinion in, in the game. <laughs> I wanted to have, the you know, I had to go do that. And it's like, that's not the world, bro. Because I think now can bring you all this shit back. Like, yo, look. Right. And she's like, but, I think a, but a where do you find that balance? That's though. what I'm saying. The most, because, I was just about to say that the most important thing is balance. Yeah. Like, you have to find that balance. Because let me tell you, I can't speak for all women, but I can say the most important thing that I want to feel in a relationship, I just want to feel appreciated and loved. I could have like, had that's it there what with we me. genuinely I could have had it there with me. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's a good I could have yeah. said, Listen, and it's gonna sound it's gonna sound bad. I love my kids. We can make new kids. Them kids gonna have their own memories and have their own lives to live. Mm-hmm. I could have got. We could have said, "Hey, hey, mom, can you keep an eye on the girls? We gonna go. I gotta go do the show. Um, me and her gonna go. Boom. Mm-hmm. Now that's the memory we got forever. Right. Because oh, it's different it. if you don't have those options. Like if you don't have somebody that can take care. So if you have yeah. that, you have the village. You could utilize the village, and you don't. You don't even think, and and boy, wow, okay. So now, even having this conversation, now I'm even remembering certain conversations. Like you didn't even think, you didn't even think to do it. Mm-hmm. I was like, I, I didn't. I just, I knew you was gonna be home, so I said I could do this because you'll right. be home with the kids. But why didn't I think to? Why didn't I think to say, yo, come, come with me? me. And, don't and we always say it on Instagram, right? I love a woman that I don't even gotta. Yo, you want before I'm even done typing, you want? Yeah. Yep. Yo, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go, so I gotta is, go there, think. is there hope for you and your no, ex-wife? There's no hope. And don't get me wrong, because I feel <laughs> like lack of financials does matter though. That makes because you can't, but sometimes you can't even get to it. But that's yeah, there's so I, much shit on top of it. Yeah. You can't even get to yeah. the look financial. Fine, I think to if I'm being honest, I think people that this is me. I think the people that get divorced due to finances 
They just don't want to talk about the uglier situations. For sure. Because you then what if everything's straight financially? You know, like I feel like I've been in situations where I dated people where it's like, okay, I don't really got to worry about paying for shit, but it's still a lot of other voids. You know what I mean? Like you don't really seem like you appreciate me or it sometimes seem like you don't really fuck with me like That's that. But we just because you're paying for everything and you're doing everything, that doesn't feel, like that. I'm not feel gonna those lie, voids. I feel like, um, and like my earlier relationships you know we were young and it's passion and it's love and then it's like once I started kind of moving in a different space and I realized the type of woman I wanted to become and what I was high doing value, high value woman shut the fuck up <laughs> but it was like I Not wanted high value woman. I wanted to be complete though because I felt <laughs> like okay I'm a good person I have a great personality I bring all this to the table but I was like one thing that's missing, it may be low on somebody's list, but I want to check that off. I want to be financially free. Mm -hmm. So I was in a, a bad relationship, but one thing I got out of the relationship, he paid off my student loans. I was able to pay off my car. You know, I... But you, you still wasn't happy. But I, Yeah, I wasn't happy, but I was just was doing what I had to do. Right. right. It's a loan program. It was the loan pro. It was a, a it was a different loan. It was it a grant. It was a BDB it was a, grant. It was a BD. It was the BDB grant. And I'm not BDB mad at you. No, it's crazy man. because in that moment, you know, when girls usually get money from niggas, they go get their hair done. They go buy purses. They go buy bags. Me, Listen, whatever you do, with I your, was paying off things. Yeah, I, I was paying, paying my for grant. Mad shit. Whatever I was saying, yeah. Your, like, whatever you do with your grant, like, I'm not one of these niggas that's telling women. Oh, you be using. I, I can't look at my friends. I got look at my friends. Right. But yeah. I'm just saying, like. I'm not one of those niggas. Like, if you, like that's so why I said when I heard y'all talking, I'm like, yeah, that's a grant program. You get all that shit out the way, and then you can find the real. Then you can find. And the that's nigga what I'm that, saying. So yeah. that's what I was emphasizing on, like now, because I felt like I don't want to go into a relationship and I get married to a man. I'm like, oh, by the way, I'm three hundred thousand dollars in debt. Like, and we say this all the time. You know, I say it all the time. Bitch, I'm debt free. Period. But I felt like people don't in understand a relationship, that, how, how freeing it. Like to be like I'm debt free. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that, but that's also I didn't go to college, mm -hmm. so <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I still got about like twenty thousand. Yeah, no, I don't have. There's nothing. But I'm just saying, I felt nothing, like, but I, it's so free. When mm -hmm. I want to be in a relationship, but shit, I I've been free myself. I want moms. finances to be not even an good issue. Luck, Joe. Finances should be <laughs> not good luck, Joe. Whatever you gotta do, Joe, you figure it out. But I'm good over here. I'm good, boo boo. I've I been... paid half. I... But I feel like I have to give it myself. You know, we they <laughs> always hear me. about like divorce lawyers saying the number one reason why people get a divorce is because of finances. And I said, well, let me eliminate this because when a nigga get with me, finances is not an issue. It's not finances. A it's every not... you gotta think about it when you don't like somebody. Everything they do bothers you. Bothers the way they choose. So I was gonna say it's about money too. No, it's the other way around. <laughs> right. So if I don't like you, then yes, finances is the issue. I I don't know because I didn't do a whole bunch of research. I'm pretty sure if I spend the next two weeks, next month doing a whole bunch of research about divorces for years, fifty years, I will go back and you allow me to look over each case. I don't think anybody was sitting in front of the judge like. I really love you. And see, I was gonna <laughs> but say, the if I is just pulling us apart, I just don't right. want to do this. Right, right, see, right. I was gonna right. Say, and if yeah, I don't like I you, finances are the reason that a lot of the time people stay. If I don't like you and you up and you good, like finances be the reason why people stay in the relationship. Which is right. why I make sure bitches like me all correct. Yeah. I like it. I mean, but that's important. I feel like, yeah, when you young, you definitely tell yourself that finances should be the number one thing. But as you get because older, you start to realize... Young, we're fucking parrots. We're just listening to what somebody else said. We're and like, after you get in certain situations, too, and you date people, and you like, oh, okay, money not an issue. The finances is not an issue. We're not arguing about that type of shit. It's deeper things. It's deeper rooted things that matter and that's more important. Finances was an issue when we were mad at each other. Yeah. And I'm telling you for somebody who was married. Mm -hmm. When we were mad at each other, you can't get this and I'm not getting When we were same so financial Do you like, to, do you like to take the girl shopping? My bitch, I take my bitch shopping, yeah. My bitch could go shopping. Where? Ooh, sensibly. Listen, What's when we go somewhere if you go somewhere if you say today i want to go to celine okay well just know oh. you're getting one bag one perfume <laughs> he <laughs> said sensibly <laughs> I, I, I have, okay bitch, i have kids i can respect that i have kids and i like that. nice things yeah okay Damn, sensibly shopping yeah uh, you pick john book on the nah, you put that shit first of all yeah, i've seen benefit. what the fuck going on you ain't gotta tell well, me i'm just saying like, I like i've been peeping too. i like shit too y'all be you gonna take all my money bitch 
So now you gonna be well dressed in that I'm a she? Ah, <laughs> she in. It's called she in. I'm sorry, somebody must okay, be getting Okay, we getting carried away. Somebody must I be getting don't, checked. Not gonna lie, I don't want a she in nigga. So now why not? Wait, no, wait, no. why not? Why so? So Tahoe don't got no chance on this podcast. Oh, <gasps> You know, y'all know Tahoe is a she in nigga. He is. Zara, all, man. Like don't do my friend because he be having it on. Okay. <laughs> nah, but first of all, Zara, my friend. Okay, so, but no, it's level. She, what you Zara, have Zara men, day. and she in is no, two different levels. But 21 levels. said, yo, you, you fucking with a lame nigga, he shop at Zara. Paco Rabanne. Oh. They had the Paco Rabanne shit. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, that shit was so fire. That shit was so fire. But I, I mean, thank you. That shit was so tough. Drea, pass that to Lisa. Oh. oh, you don't <laughs> want this one. But but twenty one oh, said yeah, that you know, if you're trying to put that shit on a little you bit didn't these try. days, you, put that shit on. you know, twenty one just said be a that, fashion over mommy no more. Twenty one said that if a, your nigga shop at Zara, he lame though. Like, he is. He's, but that's not nice. That's what twenty one said. You Everybody can find... can't shop at sex. Yes, you can. Every, thank you. Everybody yeah. cannot yes. shop okay. at sex. Okay, here go the thing. Now. God damn, Ali. <laughs> Here's a little Mind heavy. Here's a little heavy. Bartender Lisi. <laughs> Period. E-baby. E, the, e, the E-hive loves her. <laughs> the, the E-hive want a drink. Pour me up. Child. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you every... Now, I'm going to tell you on some dressing shit. There's not many niggas that can outdress me. And, and when you see me, you know, y'all know me. So I'm not going to be out here. Oh, my put that on your shit body. Yeah, oh, like, I'm I not, ain't going to lie. And I'm a street. And nice I say that. Dress nice. I say that as a streetwear nigga. Most of shot wear is going to be streetwear. It's going to be some shit that I, I'm not. You're not going to see me in Fendi head you to toe. But you were shit. supposed to get me on my sneaker game. And you never did. You wear the same size as me. Why do everybody be saying that? She do not wear the same size as y'all. But he like that shit. I do. I like her toe. Um, her oh, toe. The problem okay. with niggas is niggas will go into sacks <laughs> and immediately go to the section they cannot afford. Mm. When sacks has just as many affordable brands you that is fashionable. You can take your bitch to Wolford and have a great time in sacks. That's true. Dillard's. I you, mean, you go to Dillard's like, and get busy. not a good example because Wolford is not. It's affordable. It's no, more it's affordable not. Than, not to the average person. But it's more affordable than going uh, to Dolce. $300 for a bodysuit. Dolce. Is, you gonna go to Dolce and be able to afford one thing. Exactly. I mean, you could get a sports bar for $400. What the, them Balenciaga ones? I felt like I got somebody at Balenciaga. The top was like $500. Like, oh, that's what I'm saying. To me, Wolford is not yeah, cheap. Like, it's in the same <laughs> boat. Like, I could see if you was going to say naked wardrobe. That's okay, something that they sell at sex. I'm just saying, there's a lot. This, listen, this, you don't have to be in Go Shein. to Macy's. You don't got to be in Shein. All I'm saying is when, when you... if, if you, J.C. Penny. If you my J.C. Penny still open? I don't know. I, don't know, I think they went into Macy's. I ain't been to J.C. Penny in I'm years. I'm not buying them. Now, J.C. Penny ain't got what, no What does J.C. Penny sell? Like, St. John's. I, I feel like St. John's. Sears. All right. Tommy yeah. Hill figure. Okay, y'all Facts. do it. Now y'all, now y'all gonna get canceled. Y'all gonna get canceled. Nautica! Nautica! Niggas used to be wearing that fuck. They used to put that, put wearing Nautica back in the day. You was putting that shit no, on. No, you wasn't. No. If you was, you okay. remember, if you was wearing Nautica and Tommy Hill We forget figure, he live in the fashion capital. I'm just saying, fashion if you was wearing, capital. Damn, nobody else from New York. Ain't. If you was wearing Nautica and Tommy, that's because you couldn't afford Ralph. Oh, that would. I'm not even being funny. I'm being dead ass. You ask anybody, or if you look at those '90s Nautica and um Tommy Hilfiger prints, they were copying. So that was like a of, South thing, because Nautica was no, cool. it was happening. It was happening. <laughs> Uh, he just we said was, you we wouldn't put that shit on. I mean, Bubba, what did Bubba Sparks? Messy. Bub, Bubba Sparks. Y'all remember <laughs> Bubba Sparks, the rapper? Ass. No. He, y'all He's remember white. Bubba yes, Sparks? I remember Bubba Sparks. He said, don't I look extra slick in this Nautica and just think it was you that she bought it why for? Do you and he know? ate that up. When did he say that and why do you remember this? Yeah. Timbaland. I used to be obsessed with Timbaland. But why? Well, all right, let me but tell you. What song was it? Yeah, that wasn't Miss Big Booty. It was, and that's the only Bubba Sparks song I know is Miss New Booty. It was a song, because you know, Timbaland did his own album, and I know every single Timbaland song that he's ever produced, mm-hmm. so, you know, maybe I'm getting a little weird. But it was so a- sing Kings of Leon. Who? Yeah, exactly. Yeah! Oh, your sex I I got is it. on fire! fire. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, not a kind of I think she know that one. That was good. Don't sleep on my girl. Yeah, the catalog is very broad. Sex? I mean, not sex. It's on fire. Sorry. Um, Nautica was fire in the South. Like, if the nigga had on Nautica, like, he like had I, said, I wouldn't on. say fire, it, it was. It was. It was. But niggas was weird. The reason I believe yeah. it was is because not everybody could afford Ralph. 
And mm. so if you route Nordica and Tommy was doing the same type of print that okay. that heavy windbreaker with that with those big bold red and white and blue colors, right, big right, right. boat and boast Tommy. Yeah, people and people he go to crazy part. I was in New York. Niggas was getting robbed for that. For Nordica, nigga was coming taking they, taking you out of your Nordica, taking you out of your Tommy, mm. even though that most fly niggas knew. That's not the shit that you're supposed you to have You're supposed to have on route. Okay, I so just, now and today, what does, uh like, a girl that you like, oh, she put that shit on, what does she have on? Miles, can I ask you a question real quick? Too? Yeah, of course. Tell the truth. <laughs> Did you used to wear them G-unit tank tops? Never in my life. I don't I've believe never, you. I don't you believe used to rob niggas. Look, I feel like you used to wear them. You want to call my parents? Mm. You might need to call me some Miles. Mama Miles. Mama Miles. Call Mama Miles. I'm going to call my dad right now. Let's see what dad, let's see what daddy gotta daddy say. Mouse gotta say, Mickey. <laughs> I never who who no, is he? Only thing huh? I ever wore. Who is he? He's hey, mighty. Dad, hey dad, I'm 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 over here on my homegirls podcast. So say hi to the world. Hi to the world. Hi. hi. Oh, he New York. Yeah, my my father real Brooklyn. Hi to the nah, world. No I games. hear it. It's no games. All right, dad. Listen, they they try and play with me. They asked me if I ever wore G unit tank tops. <laughs> He laughed, man. He ain't say no. G unit tank tops. Never no. in my life. We didn't okay. play that. Mm -hmm. okay. Wasn't no okay. G unit sneakers. Well, and I love 50. Oh, and niggas used to wear that shit in the South. Fact. They used to love to Fact. put them. Are you cursing with my dad? All right, oh, I'm dad, sorry, I love dad. You. I'll talk I'm to you in sorry. A bit. It was, was, I think that was on your your list with N1. And what were the other things? See, <laughs> they knew my. I've always been fly. They knew mm. not what not to bring. Oh, in that so house. you can wear. An, I just watched the N one documentary. Yeah, so. you can watch it, but I'm not wearing it to go to school. Oh, I didn't know that because mm. the N one documentary made it seem like everybody had shit on, and they was competing with. Stop no. cussing with Daddy Mouse my, on the phone. My mom, my dad, the father in law. <laughs> he not you disrespect. Now when I bring you to the dinner, he gonna look at you sideways. <laughs> oh, but no, there was just a. Oh, and Dad, matter of fact. He'll, now, Dad, we was out here talking about Nordica, and uh, and I was telling him that Nordica and Tommy Hill figure, although people was buying it in New York, the only reason you was buying it because you couldn't afford the Ralph Lauren, the, the Ralph Lauren version of that. Polo. Yeah, that that kind of that kind of changed as time went on. Mm. That was more upscale, like. 30, 40 years ago, but mm. by the time you came along, now nah, you're right. It was more like a C, C level. Ooh. It wasn't even B level. C. C level. Mm. I didn't know my that. Father, my father, you see, I'll show you my father. He not know slap. No, I believe it. He used to be putting it on. That's who. That's where I got it from. I know that's right. My Go first ahead. fly, my first fly winter coat, bed jacket. My father brought that. Mm. Taking us, taking us to Brooklyn, going shopping here, hit a spot. Boom, boom, boom. That's what it is. Mm. So no, I'm not right. telling y'all nothing wrong. All right, Dad, I'm going to talk to you when I get out of here. Bye, Dad. All right, love Bye, you. Bye, Dad. Okay, so, like, going back to what I said, when you see a girl and she, like, got that shit on, mm -hmm. what, does, what does she have on? In 2022. So here's the thing. Women, y'all got, at least with me, with most men, y'all got it easy. As long as you look good, nobody going to question you. Right. Now, there's just certain shit you can't have on. Like, can't have no uh, Zara shoes. The shoes is very important. So, if I see you in a Zara shoe that look like Bottega, it's a dub. Oh, like fake knockoff. You, ha you have I, to have okay. real shoes on you. If I see you with the Hermit, like these, you got the Hermit. Real, baby. The real joints. It's but real. You know joints that, don't you know play joints with me. That's not, that don't got the H and it's just like that strap. <laughs> that, that's out of here. No, they be, but they got the ones that are not Hermes. And they, and they look exactly look like Still look exactly and, like yeah. And if I catch that, it's Hermes. It's a dub. Yeah. But I'm going to be able to tell. Yeah. I really do this. I'm going to be able to tell. Mm. Even the fact that just because I don't wear... No, I can spy fake shit. That's too. what I'm saying. Even I, even because I don't wear all that weird high-end shit. I don't think... Like, I don't think niggas enjoy wearing high-end stuff. Like, they can't... First of all, it doesn't... Niggas don't be built for the shit they wearing. Y'all wearing mm. Amiri's and you got muffin top. You look weird. Not you a muffin crazy. top Amiri. You got you got Amiri's skin tight and it's hanging over the sides. Y'all niggas don't know what size y'all really are. Right. You, know, you don't know the difference between your waist and your hip. Like niggas buying bait two sizes too small. You get what I'm saying? Like right. there's just certain shit I can look and tell. Like oh niggas yeah. not really fly. They just got some money. And, and you they, just buying. Like, I don't think niggas enjoy these sneakers. They be yeah. buying. I know they don't. Mm. But they gonna buy it for whatever reason. Cause y'all y'all be like eh, BDB. But 
Okay. I don't be impressed by that shit. I though. never. I don't care what a nigga got on. Well, no, I did not say no, that. No, I'm talking about designer. <laughs> no, I did not say a that. A nigga shit. can be designer head from toe and be tacky as fuck. It, and that's, that's what, I what I'm like. talking about. I don't, I don't like care. tacky shit. I want you to look nice and presentable because it be niggas that I don't know. I don't even know sometimes what they have on. And they look nice as fuck, and then it'll be a nigga I can see what he has on and he tacky. So like, so I mean, but that's different. That's though. what I was saying. Don't nobody want no tacky that's what I'm, But that's what I was saying. I don't give a fuck what I designer. said. Don't nobody want one. I didn't say they nah, don't date them. Be, them. Them Texas girls, y'all, they be loving some tacky. They niggas, be saying child. that Texas. They be saying people from Texas are tacky. You th- you agree yes. with that? You think yes. we all can't dress? No, y'all can dress because y'all moved out of Texas. They be saying we can't dress. Oh, they always talk about care. what we got on. I don't care what nobody say. That Paco Rabone fit you backed out the other day. I looked at the phone set. Nah, fire. this crazy. I gave you the fire emoji. I know you won't see it for a year, but I gave. I was like, this is fire, bro. I said, I didn't know she was on it like that. Cause, like I said, like if you're pretty, yeah, and what you have on is decent, mm-hmm. I don't care. Right. I'm, not, I'm looking at your bag. Is your bag real? Is your shoes real? Is your nails done? I think that's the that's thing. You did look at my nails when I walked in. I always look at your nails. I think that's stuff that I always typically used to care about. I just used to care about like bags and shoes. I care but about your now, as well. But yeah, now I be I care, care about. But now I be caring about oh like actually putting that shit on. You have like buying to. quality clothes. And that's what nobody's yeah. doing. So when you do that fast fashion shit, you get a whole bunch of shit that look nice in Instagram pictures. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. You got to kill the I universe. have never been a person like I liked buying the fast fashion stuff and I like I cared about my accessories, my shoes and my bags, the things like that. But I'm not gonna lie, like I been buying little, you know, expensive pieces and it's definitely different. It's the di- quality. It's the different. quality is that's di- why it's so expensive. Yeah. The quality is different. I'm wearing some shit right now that I'm be able to wear this whole outfit in five years. Yep. yep. In five years I'm be able to wear this. What are you doing? <laughs> in, five, in five years, I'm be able to wear everything I'm wearing right now. You get what I'm saying? And that's these. Uh, no, no, that's I don't right. like these. Listen. All right, all right, all right. We done got off topic. A word from our sponsor, Better Help. Hey, y'all. It's your girl Lex P. And it's your girl Dre Nicole. And y'all know we swear by and love therapy. So BetterHelp.com is going to change your life. Yes. Therapy can help you in so many ways, like when it comes to being a better problem solver and accomplishing your goals. Yeah, so I feel like with therapy, I have gone through so much this year with touring, you know, I lost my mom and just dealing with changing my life from working all the time to really, really working all the time. It's just a lot on my plate. So I feel like BetterHelp has helped me so much. My counselor has been absolutely amazing. Now, I will say when I signed up, I didn't like my little therapist at first, but they make it so easy for you to change your counselors in under 48 hours. Yes, and it's super easy to navigate the app and it's super easy to to have access to your counselor at any time whenever you need to talk to them. And they also offer financial aid and they make it easy to change counselors if you need to change counselors. Right. You do everything from the comfort of your own home. So what you're going to do is go to betterhelp.com backslash poor minds and you're going to get 10% off of your first month. That's better com backslash poor minds. Get your therapy on. We always going to get off so topic. Now, now we're going to get into the big. Bow. The big. Bow. The big. Bow. 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 bow, bow. You ain't gonna say a little bow. That was ugly. You don't wanna say bow. Oh, that, that girl, it, was two, that, it was two on two. Yeah, I had it. I ain't need me. Okay. Let me ask you this. You don't <laughs> like her little song? I ain't like it. He said Mouth. it was ugly. Before we get into it, ain't ugly because the girls love it. And he's, just, he, the, he's never been to a poor mind show, so he wouldn't know I'm how lit it is. Yeah. I'm not gonna invite it. But that's okay. That's another topic. Dre's invited me. Okay, cool. So stop saying it. I'm sorry. <sighs> Anyways, let me ask you this before we get into this topic. Let's do it. Do you believe, are you a good man? Are you a good man? I think that's up for the women to decide. I'm a good person. Okay, that's not what I asked. I, Are you I, a- though? You would have to ask a woman, "Am I a good man?" I think that's weird when men just okay. jump out here and say, "I'm a good man." Cool. Mm-hmm. How do you know? Okay, cool. I do. Every, that- I lead with my best intention. Okay. okay. So that goes into our topic today. I want to talk about how to be a good lover in the mm. bedroom. Can I just say this is an amazing podcast? Thank I don't know you. how many people say it like after or like during. I'm they sitting through this podcast. After. I'm sitting through this podcast as a podcaster. It's like, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, y'all are, I'm so happy for y'all. Thank you, mom. 
Thank you. So I want to talk about being a good lover in the bedroom okay. because I feel like, you know, we always talk about men go nut no matter what. Men can fuck that's, wet semen. In the, always, but but I, that's what I'm saying. I want to talk about being a good lover. You I know feel like saying? Mouse on is parties. on both sides. I feel like Mouse is a good lover. Oh, he is. I'm about to tell you why. You want to know why? Sure. I want to know why. He has manicured hands. I feel like that's very important. That mean that he care about how his nails look. We was he talking gonna, early. I said I won't even. Yes. Talk, I won't even play with your pussy if my nails not done. Yes, that, that I'm not gonna do that. But that's important. I'm just, I'm just pussy like twenty extra minutes. That those are things that's important though. Like let's not act like he's not. Like you're not giving my credit. Lex, you don't think that's important for a man to have like no, it's nicely it's manicured it's nails? It's me. If it was anybody else, she'd be fine. <laughs> okay. If this was if this was one of these ugly BDBs, she'd be like, ah. <laughs> This comments are about to be so crazy. What? Why? But because the nigga that she love and just can't get it right with, that's why she. Oh, because they gonna think y'all serious too. I was playing. You was playing. Anyways, oh. let's talk. About you don't think that's important though? No, I do think it's an important. I think it's very important because I think it's the little details then, that you can yeah, look at a man details. and tell. Like, yeah, Miles has nice hands. He does. Um, he cares about his hygiene. He, he cares about does. his appearance. You have a facial regimen. Have a four step facial regimen. It ain't no bumps over here. Any bl- any blemishes on his face is because I'm a fighter. But mm-hmm. let's talk about the physical of it. Though. Let's do it. So, Which is probably like the last step, though. I think that you should pay attention, though. Like. I'm not going to lie. Like, the first time I have sex with a man, I pay attention to, like, the positions that he most reacts to, mm. things he kind of doesn't react to. And then, like, I be taking notes during the sex. Mm-hmm. I do. And I feel like everybody should do that. I feel like that's important of being a good lover is because one thing about me, I know my body. I know how to have an orgasm. So even if your dick is not that good, mm. I know what position I like. I know how to touch myself when I'm on the dick a certain way to make myself Mm -hmm. have a good time. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, how can I make you feel good? How can I make you enjoy this experience? But if his dick trash, why are you trying to make him feel good? Because we're already in it. I'm I'm gonna get my nuts. If we're Mm -hmm. already in it, I might as well at least get a nut. That's good for you. You I'm probably gonna leave. But I'm saying it's the first time we had sex. I'm talking about the first time I have sex with a guy. If it's not good. If his dick is trash, why am I I mean, I know that I'm going to try to make no it work. Sex, though. I'm but not how do I trying know to make dick it work. Trash if it's the first time we had sex. No, you, you right. But really, once really I know, be I'm going to be like, oh, actually, I'm getting so sleepy. I'm fucking weak. What's it doing? 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 Actually, I'm I think weak. I'm going to go to sleep. Now, now, if it gets to that point to where it's like going on and on and on, That's I'm going to pull a mouse. Yeah. Okay. But, mm-hmm. like, girl. Uh, like I said, that's how my phone ring. I feel. <laughs> Ooh, I used to, we love to do that. Remember how they used to do that in all the old school shows? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's so, I got something to tell y'all when this is done. I got something to tell you about that. <laughs> so, Ooh. anyway, you got <laughs> Harry got on that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but she'll come down them stairs like, like this. Why did they suck? Don't do Harry. <laughs> Harry was wearing some bullshit. Miss Winslow. Oh, Miss Winslow was wearing. I didn't say she was ugly. She was wearing some bullshit. Be like, but hey, Harry, we're was... going out to eat. And Carl Ooh. at the desk. This is some bullshit. <laughs> oh, when Laura debuted that motherfucker. Never mind. No, Stefan Arkell. That's when they really used to Stephon do it. Was a he lame. looked like the same nigga. And thank you. When he would hop out that chamber. Ooh. Ooh. You still you know a lame man. You know my favorite part what? was when he would take the pill. He like, <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll do a little spin. He be, be like, like Laura, and then he'll stand back my up. All oh, was changed that like he took his glasses off. All that changed, he took his glasses off, and I was like, I don't care what y'all say. I was definitely one of those people that used that to fell think, for it. yes. You I thought there were two different I people. I used to think Stefan was fine. I had, I never liked Stefan. He was a corn. I did. I hated Steve that Urkel shit. Urkel was way better. No, he wasn't. In the words of Kanye, too many Urkels on your team. That's why you was Winslow. Low. Period. Bar. He did that. He did. But let's get back into a good lover. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> what mouse? That was a fire bar. Don't that do was that. a bar. You so oh, we too talking many about good lovers or what? Okay, we're talking yeah. about good lovers. Okay, <laughs> so to me, 
I feel like I'm a good talk about family matters. And and Winslow. (laughs) And and Kanye. (laughs) And Kanye. (laughs) Anyways, I feel like I'm I'm a good wait, wait, wait. You remember when they put nigga on Not see not miss. You remember when they put nigga on Loris? (laughs) Oh what? And lock up and it closed and everybody like (laughs) (laughs) That's what the audience will do. Oh, bro, we need to bring that shit back. We need to start having people in the background. Of- Javier, you down? Javier said, "I'm on." Javier said he need a pay increase though. Oh, <laughs> okay, back to it. Yeah, it was Good always level. the saxophone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh. When they would come back from commercial break. Okay, okay, okay. No, that was going to commercial. To commercial. Saxophone would be going to the commercial. <laughs> okay, listen. I feel like what makes me a good lover yeah, go ahead. is that I pay attention to details. Yeah. So, and honestly, I'm not going to lie. This may be annoying. I don't know, and I don't care. If I'm doing something, I'm asking nigga, like, you like that shit? Like, do you like it? And your voice? No, not like that. How you say what it? What voice? Because if it's that voice, I'm be like, yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and not like that. I'm be like, shh, shh. like if if if, I, if she look up and be like, <laughs> you like that? <laughs> you of course I'm not using my sex voice because why do they need to hear my sex voice? Why would they hear ear? it? Shut up, move. Ooh, that was it. She said, shut up. I heard you heard it right. All right, I just wanted to be- Friend. Friend. That was a different tone. I never heard that tone before. Well, we have had sex before. I mean, I was there. You, you there have heard my sex that? voice. Like behind the door? No. Or like she, in the it, room? No, she was in the bed. Big freaky. <laughs> Good time. Big freaky little freaky. Anyways, like I said, I do not mind asking a nigga like while we're having sex, like, do you like this? Or, you know, like... Give me direction. What you want from me? Because I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. What do you want? What these bitches want from a nigga? Like, let me know because I'm going to do it, mm-hmm. especially if I'm in the mood. So I feel like that's why I'm a good lover. I take notes and I want to make you feel as good as possible. So that's what I feel like makes me a good lover. So what do y'all feel like makes y'all good lovers? I feel like I'm very sensual and mm. sexual. Right. Like naturally. Right. Right. So, like, I think it just, you know, flows into the bedroom. And I'm just a very sensual person. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm one of those people that I'm a pleaser. So, I'll, like, yes. literally do whatever. That's how I am. Except like, for eat your booty. That's where I draw the line. Where no limits. That's my Damn, limit. Mm, mm, mm. There's no limits, baby. Mm-hmm. That's where I, I draw the limit. I don't have no limits. Limit. Whatever my man wants. But want. everything else, though, no limits. Whatever you want. Mm. Yeah, and I might good. do that one day, but I think I'm a reserve eating ass for my husband. Like, I mean, you know, what I, if you get remarried? What you mean? <laughs> what if y'all get divorced? Then I probably eat my second nigga ass too. Oh, now you can't I'm bring just... you're not bringing your ass tongue into the into the into the second marriage. How you gonna Is know you the tongue you ate ass with? You are not bringing that into this house. <laughs> I brush it every day. Uh-uh, it's not the same. You don't get ass. Oh my God. Take it from you me. You want a virgin tongue? Yes. I'm but I don't want me. no tongue. Do you got butt. a virgin ass? This <gasps> ass the hole is being saved for one person and one person. Okay, only. I my doctor. Oh. When I have to go to get that thumb <laughs> up the ass, he will get a fresh bussy. That bussy has never been touched. Not you, got, you got a bussy. I got a bussy. Every man got a bussy mm. if they want it to be there. Well, first of all, the girls are the girls. I don't think the girls, they... the girls be on me, child. They be like, Mouse, you support us. We. I be like, girl, I know. Okay, so if I ever that... sold off this bussy. Make a lot of money. Not I believe you. Because I, I can tell by your nails. You. I can tell it's probably groomed. What very. Make- very. We don't play with that butthole. Mm-hmm. Can't play with it. Mm-mm. I wear, my jeans are way too expensive to be stinking. Mm-hmm. <gasps> so what makes you a good lover? What makes me a good lover? Hmm. I'm putting my phone down so I can. I think it starts it. before the bedroom. Mm. It starts before the bedroom. You already feel like that bitch before. Just, just throughout the day. I'm already texting. Yo, I love you. Yo, you good? You need something? Have you eaten? I'm all I'm I'm right there. So it's never you a lot of the interaction that men find to be a problem with having sex with women or getting sex from your partner is because you're not constantly mm-hmm. priming it. Is it right or is it wrong? Who knows? It's the life we live. Oh my god. Right. We can't change everything. Not everything needs to be revolutionized. Okay? If you want more sex from your woman, be more sexual. Without being sexual right. throughout the day. Mm. Listen to what she's saying. Mm. If she's saying, I need hey, he this. He really putting y'all on some game right now. I'm just like, being honest. If she's saying, that, right, 
this is this is the shit that get we was talking about this on Guiding Tour like last month and I was like niggas are I'm the R word that'll get you canceled. Hmm. It sound like bombarded, right? Okay. Niggas. Oh yeah. Niggas will sit there and be like, "Oh, I want more sex. I need more sex." And then a woman will tell them exactly what would put them in the mood. And instead of doing that, you say, "This is why niggas cheat." Hmm. Dumbass nigga, you had to put that new bitch in the mood too. Mm -hmm. It just took a little. It, right. the, it was fun. It was more fun because you know this bitch. Mm -hmm. See, the niggas lose that for their woman. You get used to your woman, so you not all that shit you doing for that bitch. You could be doing for your woman. It would turn her on, but you want to do it for her because she's different. You don't got the same. She, right. She, you know what I mean. So, what makes me a good lover? Like I said, it starts with way before the bedroom. Mm -hmm. I'm saying you flowers just cause. Mm -hmm. you want some cookies? Yeah. Like I'm. And that's Are not, you romantic? I'm super romantic. That's, give me romantic though. What's that's, your sign, Miles? Uh, I don't know. My birthday April fifteenth. Aries. Are you Aries? Aries. Okay. Oh. Okay. So it's like. So it's like. Um. Like I said. What? What that mean? He, you wasn't expecting it. I I knew his birthday. He just never talks about his sign. I'm not because oh. I don't believe. I don't, he doesn't. Be I don't believe in that shit. So yeah. I don't know. But, but um, it's just funny. Listen, the plan matters. Y'all are both fire signs. Maybe y'all are. I know. I. What you? You're Leo, right? Duh, you know my fucking birthday. Stop fucking playing with me. I just me. know I know the fire signs. Mm -hmm. That's what I had. I know your birthday, yes, but I know Leo's. Fire and desire. Mm -hmm. Tina Marie and, and, and you heard what you heard what he and heard what you stupid <laughs> <laughs> baby. <laughs> I hate this fucking show. And desire. Okay, we have gone <clears throat> over time. Facts. Oh, and I eat, I, eat, I eat pussy like a champ. I eat pussy like a lesbian. That's what we like to boy, hear. Boy, oh boy, I, I try to suck the soul out your vagina. I swear for God. That's you, what you post. You give do. me the opportunity to get mm -hmm, face to face mm -hmm, with that little, mm -hmm, little that little mm -hmm, pinky ping. Mm -hmm. I'm a All right, let's move on. Okay. Let's move on because we oh, have gone. This is a off. long ass episode. Oh, my fault. My, okay, it's cool. We didn't have we we normally have a timer, but we didn't have one. Yeah. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lex P, and it's your girl Drea Nicole. And y'all know we love us some good day scents candles. Yes, we love good day scents. That's the only candles I have in my home now. Mm -hmm. I love the pineapple sage. Mm -hmm. It smells so good when I walk into my house. It just be smelling so yummy. Mm -hmm. And then I also like the passion scent that we got in our Valentine's boxes. That, that was a it good smells one. so good. Well, it's the black love for me, hun. <laughs> got my whole house smelling like vanilla. The boy, it brings all the boys to the yard. Huh? I know that's why. And we are here with the founder and the CEO of Good Day Sense Candles. What's up? Thank you for pulling up on us. I'm happy to be here. What's up, Lex? Yes. How you doing, Dre? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm here to let you know that you can get some of these amazing smelling candles in your home by just going to our website, gooddaysense.com. And for being a special Poor Minds fan, you get 20% off by using the code P-O-U-R. And just remember our motto, every day is a good day. Period. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP, And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And we are here to talk to y'all about Bombas. Their mission is simple. Make the most comfortable clothes ever. Yes, and they match every item sold with an equal item donated. Yes, yeah, so they make socks, t-shirts, and underwear, which is the most requested from homeless shelters. And the good thing about this is that they have technology with all their clothing items that make them more comfortable to wear. So with the socks, they stay up, the shirts, you know, cling to you just right. Everything that you look for when you're buying clothes. Yeah, and the underwear is so breathable, it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. Yes. You know, take that how you want to. Oh, I know, that's right. So go to bombas.com slash poor minds and use code poor minds for 20% off of your first purchase. That's B O M B A S dot com backslash poor minds and use code poor minds at checkout. Get your clothes on. So, mm -hmm. all right, so now we're going to get into That's the bop. Thing in the hey. bedroom. Ain't no time. The bop. Hey. Ain't no time. Bow, 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 bow. Now he so, got into it that time. Biggity bow, bow, bow. Okay, so What's my, your bop? Bop, my bop of the week, I have been listening to, I've been put on him recently, and but he's been out for a while. But, you know, sometimes people have to convince me, and I was hmm. finally convinced because he dropped his album, Jig. Love Jig. Oh, my God. He's hard. He's amazing. I had no idea. I was super sweet. Got, he's right there. He's like around know, the corner for y'all. I know, but the thing is, mm -mm. I just wasn't convinced because I heard one song by him and I didn't really like it. This album that he dropped is fire. Fire. He's very, very fucking good. I'm sorry, Jid. I was sleeping on you. He got his song with Ari Lennox. And I just... 
I can relate so fucking much. So he has a song called Can't Make You Change Ooh. because I feel like I, I, I've i done that. That actually comes on after my favorite song on that album. Hmm. That Brett and them um, record. Hmm. So they show about no, um, but no. But I'll say like can't make you change. I feel like women we can relate to this. Stop trying to make these niggas change. Basically, at the end of the day, I don't want to be long winded about it today. Y'all know how I feel about Ari Lennox. I'm still looking for you, Ari. Come on the show. But Jid, she pulled up the track karaoke. Um, Ari is fucking amazing. Is I have never heard an Ari Lennox record mine. that I don't like. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never heard an Ari record that I, I don't got, like. Y'all reached out to us. We haven't yet. I got you. But the thing is, the reason I haven't is because I know something happened with an interview with her and somebody really... Yeah, Yeah. it was. And the thing is, though, when she said she's not doing interviews for the time being, I like to give people space. Because when you come on Poor Minds, it's about to be a vibe and you're about to have a good time. Mm -hmm. So whenever she's ready, I want it to be the right timing. Mm -hmm. Because anybody that watches the show know that how I feel about Ari. I love her. So yeah, her and Jid, Fire Record... Um, I fuck with Jid. I'm a new fan of his now. And I think I made one of his songs a bop of the week in the past, but I never really sat down and listened to him for real. So I'm a fan. I'm sold. All right. So um, DJ Kelly just came out with his 12th or 13th studio album. I can't remember which one it is. 13th. 13th. Okay. He got Be this song, like God album. Did. Mm. Talk about it. Yeah. And this is why Dre have been a real one. Yeah. It breaks my heart. So he got this song, God <laughs> Did. It's with Lil. Is that what he said? He did say it like that. In the that. beginning, it pissed it me off. It breaks my, my heart. It breaks my heart. I'm like, you are the worst part of this song. Every time. <laughs> Every time. It's his song. But, but, it's shut his, up. but it's his shit. But shut up. It, it up. breaks my heart. Did he really? It did. Yeah. He's just and the coach of the all-star team. So wait, 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 before you get into it, let me also say he did an interview for the VMAs and he said the album cover, those tears were real. I believe Because we it. were going back and forth. The tears on the album cover were that real. That makes it even worse. God so did. it was so it's the Lil Wayne, Rick Ross, uh, Jay Z, and John Legend. First of all, bitch, Jay Z snapped y'all. First of all, y'all know Jay Z is my favorite rapper yeah. ever. Oh, the greatest. Been the greatest. Oh, I've said this the numerous greatest. times the on greatest. Poor Minds. Yes. I said I used to tell Lex this all the time before we had Poor Minds. Jay Z is my favorite yes. rapper ever. I love when he get on the motherfucking I think it's track. How he performs live and he too. started talking heavy. He was talking so crazy. He ain't never snapped. I, and I he mean, said, Jay this is got him no, cause I'm him. Yeah. What? What? They singing the hymns cause I'm him. Nah, come on, stop playing oh, but, with me. But you know, let me not even say that cause Jay Z have snapped a lot. But like when I say he really snapped on that Longest verse, verse, he said Four what Went that nigga a long said. Time. He said, um, how many billionaires could come from Hove Crib? I'm talking <laughs> me. Yay and Re and he Braun, because he a rock so boy. Yeah. Hey, I love it. I think it's like, beautiful. Like, that's real shit talking, because how many niggas can really say that? I think they, Hove did. People Hove can did. say whatever they want about Jay-Z. Like, like, I got four Hove tattoos. I ain't even gonna lie to you. For real? I got... I'm weak. I got... Let me say I'm look, weak. I got... I, got I pray and forgive him for every sister I played. Yeah. Under my arm. Um, I got still nigga right here. I mm, got I like Still that nigga one. was about I yeah. got um Beach Chair verse about his daughter right yeah. here. I think I got one more, I just can't remember. Did you say still a nigga? <sighs> still still nigga. nigga. You don't remember that song? Still nigga. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you okay. I was thinking something else. But yeah. hands yeah. down, best song on the album, Jay Z Snap. Oh, so you got the that's I'm what I was thinking with it. of. That's the same. Okay. You got the cartoon by That's Fire. Yeah. Still nigga. Y'all. Love it. Um, okay. I've been listening to that song every day. It's, really and it's just a vibe. So I think yeah, when you is. come from like people but doubting you and shit. Lie. I'm it's... not gonna lie. John Legend's part, no. I could have done that. Could've. DJ Khaled. You why you didn't put me on the album? John Legend has not sung Black Leaf oh, for so long. Oh, 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 oh. That's all he did. Oh God. You didn't you don't sound like him though. I sound she better. Did just now. She did oh, sound like God. No, 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 go back. Do, do the John Legend voice again. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh God, dear. But he did that high note at the end. Can you do that? Oh, oh, <laughs> Them vocal cords work, child. Not just in the bed. That throat work. <laughs> I hate you here. Mouse, what's your bop of the week? Oh, I get one? <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, done. Oh, I didn't know. What's uh, your vibe? What you been jamming? What you been jamming this week? I mean, 
uh, Beyonce put pure crack in that Renaissance album. Ooh, so it's different. It's a little different. So plastic off the sofa has been. Yes. It's been. It's mm, been on repeat. Well, um, well, well, I know that you can't help but be yourself around me. Yourself around me. The vocal cords work. I mean, we're here. The this mic, throat works. I on. never denied it. My mic is on. The mic is on. <laughs> Shout out to they have the range. I love Branford. I'm um, fucking but, uh, Hoodie by Ari Lennox has been. Like, and that was my pop of the week the other yeah, week. That shit's been on repeat. That shit's so tough. That shit's tough. Let me find out. You Ari like is hard. I love Ari. I love Ari. Well, you love R&B, though. R&B is my bop. R&B I'm, is my I'm, bop. I'm the R&B girl. She uh, is. That's cute. So now it's time to get into <laughs> our favorite segment of the show, which is Pour Your Heart Out. You know, if you have any questions that you need answered or you want answered, send them to askpoorminds at gmail.com. That's A-S-K-P-O-U-R-M-I-N-D-S at gmail.com. We're also accepting testimonials. You know, we want to know if we helped you or if we fucked your life up. Either way. <laughs> That's some real shit. Let us know. Let your worlds know. So question number one. Hey, Drea and Lex, my child's father recently confessed that he had sex with my childhood best friend multiple times, unprotected. He said it happened two years ago while I was pregnant. One of those times he said I was upstairs sleeping. <gasps> My first reaction was anger. Then it turned to hurt. I was really confused why they would do something like this to me. I'm very genuine and would have done anything for them. Looking back on the situation, he would always say, she's a hoe. You don't need to hang with her in other remarks. He knew. Anytime I would rant to her about how he would treat me, she would say, hmm, girl, or wouldn't give it any advice at all. I just felt so stupid. My question is, how do I approach this situation with them? I want to cut them off and move on since the situation happened two years ago. I know I can't cut my child's father off completely since we have a child together. Girl... Cut them off. Fuck that hoe, number one. Fuck her. Definitely cut her ass off because that's mad fucking weird. And then with him, I would definitely just keep it very surface level, like doing everything that y'all need to do for y'all child. There's an app. For They make apps now for like... um, Co-parenting? Co-parenting apps. Use the app to talk to him. You wouldn't speak to him? No. You fucked my best friend when I was downstairs That wasn't your best friend. Well, that's what she thought. But... He showed you it's not your best but friend. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think there's a co-parenting app. I was, think you look girl, into that. The best friend was more wrong. The best friend was definitely but he's still wrong. wrong. They're both wrong. They're that's both why I said wrong. But he's nigga wrong. You can forgive him. You can't forgive him. No, you her. can't forgive okay, him. Okay, first of all, nigga, pause. What? Forgive can, him? What is nigga wrong? I don't have to forgive. if a nigga is wrong, y'all know this certain love. Like, uh, forgive niggas. Like, y'all have. No, well, I don't I'm know what I'm not forgiving it is. no nigga that fucked my best friend. I'm not. I'm not. There's no forgiving. What's different any other bitch? What you mean? That's, a, that's my best friend. You, you up, probably like, know more intimate details about my relationship. Like you probably somebody who I so come and talk to, I confide in. So she's wrong. And he is too, because yes. I'm pretty sure I've been mad at her and I vented to him about her. When do y'all ever do that? Thanks. I do that. I do that with my niggas. If my bitch make me mad, yeah. I'm gonna be like, yeah, but y'all don't t- listen to us. It doesn't matter, but it I doesn't talk matter, to but you. you know. He told you that she wasn't hoe and <laughs> stay away. He knew. It doesn't matter. Fuck him. Fuck What's her. His name? He knew. Talk, <laughs> talk to him on the co-parenting app. He did. <laughs> I don't think co-parenting app. To me, that's taking it too far. Like you should be able to that's have a cordial have conversation baby, you, with your child. You know, the if you fuck, you gonna put me on a co-parent app? app? Absolutely, because that's, that's childish. That's really why we don't be working. That's childish. Now you no, you want to you want to talk about why we don't be working? I just told you why, because you petty enough to put me on the co-parenting app. Yeah, that's petty, I'm, Lex. I'm not gonna no. lie. I will put, only reason I put a nigga on a co-parenting app, like he would have to like call the police, like some crazy shit, like call the police. Y'all don't think fucking your best shit, friend or get me beat up. Your best friend is more wrong. They're both wrong. There's no, no levels there's, of yeah. They both there, wrong, but she, it's no reason for me to not. You knew, talk. Who you knew longer? Okay, Miles, I ain't saying all that. All I'm saying is we got a child together. As a as an adult, as a mature adult, I should be able to still have a conversation with you about my child. You can text on the co parenting app. You can set up the pickup But you're time. still talking to him. So what is the difference? If you because text, again, at the end of the day, yes, a because there's a, time, there's a time frame where you can call and talk to me. You don't gotta this answer thing, if that nigga call at a. I don't, but I don't need him calling me at two a.m. when I'm laid up with my niggas. Now my nigga thinking, oh, why your baby daddy calling you at two a.m. If you contact me on the co-parenting app, 
Everyone knows everything. Now I'm gonna is blow good. up the co-parent. And hey, you about to be like, can it's I have some a... pussy? <laughs> can I get some pussy? Can I get some pussy? Can I have some more? Man, I, man I have some pussy. Some please. And, and, and I'm gonna put it. And I'm gonna put it. And I'm put it right in between the diapers. I'm be like, so so. Uh, there's more diapers over there. I love you some diapers. Can, can I get pussy? some pussy? <laughs> I'm going to Target. Girl, I'm going fuck to Target. Him. You need anything? <laughs> Look, and that's how I get her. That's how you get Lex. I'm going to talk. You need something? Well, I mean, well, target I, the cold word. Y'all know I do like Aqua Four. I love to rub Aqua Four on me from top to bottom. So. I got a lot of Aqua Four at the house. Not What's ointment. Not you niggas like ointment. Y'all I got, old. I, got a lot of I love ointment. No, I have tattoos. So no, the thing is though. First I of mean, all, me too, to, but you use it for the tattoo. But I'm not no, rubbing I, Aqua Four on me. No, she's no, nuts. no. I do it honestly. It makes it makes my like heels soft. Like at night, I just put it Whatever on it on my makes hand. The women's heels soft. Do it. Yes, <laughs> it makes just be rough. I'm not gonna lie to you. I if like you put baby oil Aqua gel. Four on the your gel. like, you know, your feet, like the Vaseline or Johnson your hands. Johnson baby oil. But gel. Vaseline, I mix it, it with dries my your skin up. It dries your skin up because it's 100 percent petroleum. I didn't say Vaseline. Oh. I said the oil gel. Oh, the oil gel works good. But and you I'm mix it you, with your lotion. Aqua Four. Whatever is keeping them heels soft. That's, that's a that's a big body. Try bench. it. Try it, sister. That is a big body. Bench. No, my I'm telling you, every been... girl that I put I put Lauren on it, I put my sister on. They were like, "Wow, I'm telling you, Aqua Four at night is gonna change your skin." Mm-mm. Period. I don't like stuff that don't got no scent. Okay, question number two. Question number two. Damn, it's my turn to read. I feel like when you're in a class, you like, I know she can't read. I'm just fucking weak. <laughs> Lex is I'm just wild. kidding, y'all. Y'all know I love to joke. Lexi, you gonna roll some aquifer on my feet later? Yeah, I will, baby. Okay. In between them toes, too. I'm right here. Thank you. Lex Andrea, I love your show. I've been watching you guys for months now. Your topics are very relatable. I'm 31 years old. My partner is 38, and he is in the process of a divorce. And he has nine children. And we have been having sex on and off since 2012 now that he is going through a divorce we made it official (laughs) oh i gotta call stupid bitch (laughs) nine (laughs) children that bitch dumb we live together and we have a blended family i made him aware (laughs) that i want sex every night he doesn't give head i have tried giving him suggestions on what my love languages are he is well aware that i want to make love we literally have sex twice a month and i can't take it we have been together for eight months I am truly a touchy-feely type of person. I told him my concerns for physical contact. I would be satisfied if he smacks my ass from time to time when the kids are not watching. Some kind of physical interaction. His response is, I'll sleep naked if you want to come get it. What should I do? I need head. I bought toys. I even leave them on the side of his bed to give him hints that I have been playing with this thing. No, Girl, not this thing. so you mean to tell me not only do this nigga got nine kids, but he don't eat pussy either. Well, and he, he not fucking kids? you. How you think he got the nine kids? It ain't nothing to cut that nigga off. Girl, you need to leave. You're not happy. You're not satisfied. Why would you even be messing with a man that was not even fully divorced with nine nine children and you're 31? You're young. Why are you dealing with a man with nine kids? I know you don't have nine kids. And she kids. didn't say she has a child with Well, she him. said no, a blended. She, she, she said a blended. blended. She said the family so is blended. So she got something right, in there. I tell you, that hit, he about the dumbest motherfucker alive, too. I got they nine both? kids and I'm going to somebody got more kids. Bitch, suck my dick. Yeah, no thanks. Girl, leave him. Yeah, girl. It's not giving what it needs to give. Leave I don't that never, I, even if he didn't have nine kids, I don't want to be with no nigga that, that don't, don't eat, eat my pussy. pussy. I cannot believe that it's is 2022. That is like a requirement. And y'all are dating men that don't eat pussy. That's, That's crazy. wild to me. I'm not doing it. I'm not I going. Could never. If you see me with a nigga, he ate the box. And he eat booty. Period. Mm. Tastes it's real It's right good. there. It's right there. It's, it's right what, there. what we said the last time, bitch. It's like three degrees of separation from the booty to the what ass. I, I, I can't. Mouth you gotta put the middle of the tongue on it too. You put the middle of the tongue right there on the hole. Wow, she'll, she'll light like a rocket. She'll do what you gotta do. Y'all know? Okay, Dre. Question go ahead. number three. Mm-hmm. Hi, ladies. I recently got out of a relationship that you could say was toxic on both ends, but I was getting close to my ex's BFF girlfriend. We were becoming cool friends and we're both grown, but me and my ex ended up on bad terms and I left them at her house an hour away from the city where we live after a bad fight. I admit I was wrong and I take full accountability of being an ass 
what of being an ass and ditching i've been wanting to hit her up to smoke and chill and clear the air but i'm nervous it's weird or it's done for me and girl what not the words kicking your ass. It's not the words kicking my ass. It be the <laughs> way that the way that I know. That's why we stopped reading God damn thing. She said she's scared to text. Basically, she said she's scared to text her because she thinks it's going to stir things up with her ex and with the friend. Mm. Should I leave the water under the bridge or should I go for it and make it known that I just want to fix my relationship and not get back with my ex? We're both studs in parentheses. We both studs? Yeah, they both studs. I've been overwhelmed and confused recently, and we were cool homies. I honestly just miss being friends. I hope you guys can help me out via email or something. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Yeah, I'm going to tell you the funniest, mm -mm. the funniest part of this letter was, at first I thought it was, we both studs. <laughs> but the funniest part of this letter was the end when she said, I hope y'all can help me via email or something. Like, no, y'all not going to help her on the show. Somebody's going to sit there and type, girl, what you should do. <laughs> mm -mm. Nah, that's wild. Lex, what you think she should do? I think she's already done the right thing and she's admitted she's taken her accountability. You know, like, she admitted that she was wrong in the situation, like, for leaving them there. You know, so I feel like in this situation, it's really not that bad. I feel like everybody just needs to take accountability for what they did, and y'all can move on from this. Because mm. it's not, like, a bad, like, it ain't like somebody did something detrimental, you know, to y'all's relationship. So I feel like you took accountability. You knew you was wrong. Mm -hmm. And if y'all can move on and be friends, I don't think anybody needs to date in this situation because you already said it was toxic. The uh, Why situation she with told your ex. They both I don't know. I, well, no, that was very Was important. that pertinent information? <laughs> was pertinent because I was listening. I'm like, friends, act, they got to be lesbians. Yeah, like it's a lot of. But then. At least for my context, if, if I didn't it, know studs date each other. Me neither. It just must be a fine ass stud. Did you know that? No, for Ooh, real. Did like, that make them double gay? Does it make them what? Did that make them double gay? <gasps> double gay. Because you already gay, but then you attracted to like a nigga. A nigga. Kinda. A nigga a, yeah. Uh, I mean that makes sense. This is very Atlanta. Atlanta. Lex, this is very did you Atlanta know that letter. though? Did you I know mean, that studs date each other? I think sometimes when people are. What's it called? Pansexual? They're just attracted Girl. to what they're attracted to and it doesn't matter how... That's or what if you a sapiosexual it, too, then... Yeah, you could be a sapiosexual. Attracted to somebody's mind? No, pansexual mm -hmm. is attracted to like everything. It doesn't have to have a gender. But that's anything. what a sapiosexual is. Yeah, sapiosexual is a mind, but pansexual is like, it doesn't, you know, necessarily... Not, so that could they, girls she with could, education. they could be a pansexual. You know, we know a little something. Y'all teaching me, child. I love this podcast. I Favorite like podcast. <laughs> okay, Mouse. So what is our advice though? Girl, I don't give a fuck. I don't know. <laughs> fuck, fuck that nigga. <laughs> fuck him good. <laughs> Period, because that's what I always do. Mouse, let them know oh where they can. Let we them know where they can find you. Advice. Up under, what you got going up under on? Lex. Let them know where they can find you, where you got coming up on your tour dates, your podcast, all that good shit. Uh, I am Mouse Jones, the man that puts jucks in juxtaposition. You can find me online, Mouse Jones, on everything. Uh, the Guys Next Door podcast, each and every Monday. Um, the What Hip Hop Question Legends and List on the Black Effect Network with myself and Nyla Simone, each and every Monday as well. Mm -hmm. With Mouse Jones, the interview series drops uh, every 1st and 15th on YouTube. So far, who we got up? We got Glorilla, Queen mm. Naja, George M. Johnson, um, Owen B. Peasy, and Westside Boogie. Mm. Are you going to have us on there? I, that would be fun. I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Should. We could do that. Hmm. Yeah, that'll be a fun conversation. We could do that. Um, and then trap karaoke, y'all already know. Trap yeah, trap karaoke is lit. Trap karaoke, the best party on earth. Um, best show on earth. I'm sorry. Uh, what are we? We're off this week, but we are back September eighth, 9th, and tenth. We are in Philadelphia, Raleigh, and in uh, and in the tenth, we're in New Orleans, Nola. Um. And Dre and Lex said they coming, so. Oh, yeah, yeah we, we should come, come to the New Orleans one. When is it? The 10th? The 10th. Of September. September. Oh, yeah, we ain't got time. We don't, we don't have no got nothing to do. We don't have no show. Then. We're we're on a break right now. Okay, we great. finally get a little break. I'm going to curse both y'all out if y'all don't come. That's so what, let me cool. honestly Mouse say, Jones. this has cool. been a really Mouse long Jones. episode, but Mouse, like, we obviously go way back. We love Mouse. And honestly, Mouse, thank you for coming but out. But do you love me? 
Thank you for coming out and coming to the show. This has been a long time coming. And so, yeah, we really appreciate you. And y'all know we have to end the show with a song. What song is it, though? Because you ain't told me. Is there... Before I start to sing, because I'm going to get my notes Did off. Did you tell them that I provided y'all with the songs for the New yes, York Yes, let me say shout out to Miles. He, he gave us the songs for the New York show. give us the list for the New York show. So was that list? It was, it was like long, twenty songs, was like five of them. I, but I made sure my, my we made sure good. my was good in my you, city. The, the yeah, ear is thanks. good. The ear is fire. Um, so before I start getting my notes off, because I'm gonna sing what I want to sing. Do y'all? Is there anything specific that y'all want to sing? Cause, so why are you asking? Because <laughs> if y'all want to sing, y'all because I'm gonna let y'all sing if y'all want to sing something. Just sing, girl. <clears throat> Thank you. What song is it? Y'all know this song. All right. And Dreya, this is really Dreya's jam. But why you get the head of lyrics and I don't? I'm going to send them to you right now. They ain't not, you ain't say nothing but a word. You ain't say, you got your phone? You want me to what? Air, what am I? Y'all going to the album? Yeah. Are okay. we going to release the album? J-O-N want us to get in the studio real bad. Shout out to J-O-N because we're definitely. Should, I think y'all should drop an album of like covers. <laughs> that should have streamed well. Okay. <laughs> nice. Honestly, crazy. I feel you. Now you taking it. You, I'm being dead. And you should hold, and you should be the you should be on the album too, like hosting the album. So we could bring back uh the sex sounds. You remember sex sounds on the music? Like what is going on? I remember fuck action. I'm from Houston. We used no, to have like fuck se- action. What's that? Anyways, it was Can I get a snap? Oh. I need Bob. a snap from the background. Michael 5000 White. You're not on beat, yeah. Slow, yeah. How am I on beat? I'm clapping. I'm snapping mm. with you. Sitting here. Hey. Wondering why you don't love me. The way? The way that I love you and maybe have no fear. Because I? Because I will never ever hurt you. And you know? And you know my love is real, boy, I can I can love you. I can love you. I can love you better than she can. I can love you. I can love you. I can love you better than she can. We'll make it through the storm and I know I will try yeah! <laughs> to make sure, sure that, that you can, can trust me. And you know, and you know the reason why Come on, choir. I, say, I can't love you. Everyone's the choir. A I little bit as she can. Oh, oh, come on, Elise. Oh, Goddamn hot view is late. Come on. You, I know that. You could be my man, because I can love you better than she can. I can. Oh, yeah, I can love you. I can love you better than she can. I can love you. I can. I can love you. I can love you better. Uh, if I told you once, yeah. I told you twice. QD, throw yeah. the booty yeah. like a QB from my yeah. yeah. truck. I'm hey. from the boy like the Boucher. In love with you since the days of Juicy. Now I watch you play Colombo, Picasso. Yeah. Yeah. Chicks without the buckles. Who you love? Who you want to be hugging? Dip it on your nigga Honda with Tanisha and Ronda. I want to stop it for one minute. Okay, I'm sorry. And you can tell that no one wrote Little Kim's verse. You can tell. Because what? what the fuck is a Ninja Honda? With the those, Ninja are two, Ninja. those are two different motorcycles. A Ninja. There's Ninjas <laughs> and there are Hondas. I, I never knew that. But you are dipping on your Ninja Honda with me. Honestly, I never knew what a Ninja Child, Honda she was. So it's two different motorcycles. Okay, she I was just knew really, that. I thought it was one. No, she was just flustered. She was flustered. She missed big. I am we. Dipping on your Ninja Honda with, with a Ninja, Ninja Honda. What? <laughs> Man, shout out to Mouse. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of Poor Minds, and we'll see y'all next week, y'all. Bye. Bye. Oh, make sure y'all subscribe too, because we they, never they, we they, always they, they, they say it. We'll see you. We'll see you at the gender reveal. We'll T T Drea. T T Drea. I hate you.